Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Terraria. Wherein we have... Gold armor, a katana, mini shark, unpleasant boomerang, and so on. I think the only boss we've killed is... Uh, I have Cthulhu so far, actually. King Slime is actually a nightmare. Um, I think we should probably go after Eater of Worlds next, though I'm frankly a little scared of what that might entail. Um, I've been tidying up the base a bit. Uh, but I haven't quite finished the job, obviously. Alright, let's, um, let's put away this stuff. Where do I want to put building materials? Maybe here for now? I should just sell those, I'm never going to use them. Um, bombs, I guess. We've got a lot more regular bombs. Except these ones are like already sticky bombs. I'll put the bombs away for the moment. Have I made a... I've, I've made a very lazy foam for the demo. Um, chest statue... Where am I keeping the statues? I don't know. Good question. Not Steel Mage, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And good morning to you as well, thank you. Here are the uh, statues. Um, I made a couple of owl statues. Also, we have found two heart statues, two weird skeleton statues, a penguin, some kind of bird, a shield. Decided to put the... Uh, Day bloom in flower pots because I think it probably looks best up here. Um, anyway, let's sell this. Um, don't know if we don't know how badly we need a blue slime banner, but we may as well. Top hat, get out of here. Um, I never bother using dart traps anymore. Wait, it's a material though. What does a dart trap turn into? Venom dart trap. Huh. Interesting. I guess I won't trash it. We'll sell it. It's not like we can make these. I'll definitely hold on to the umbrella. Snow, stone. Building materials can go in here for now. I read up a little bit on the red potion. It's not as good as you might imagine. Um, it just gives random buffs for 30 minutes, but there's nothing... There's nothing in there that you couldn't get otherwise. Although, I can't remember, there might be some stuff you can get pre-hard mode that you wouldn't normally be able to. But yeah, four random buffs for 30 minutes. Speaking of buffs, um... I think we need some... Speed? What have I got here? Blink root, bottled water, cactus. Oh, I just need to stand close enough. There we go. And we got regen, iron skin, food. Um, I don't think we've got any major stat food yet. Ooh. Monster lasagna, 8 minutes medium stats. That's actually... I mean, it does take more than half of the vertebrae that I've collected so far. But for the boss fight, I definitely want this. Um, anything else? We're not doing magic right now. Good to know we can make Spelunker potions. We've already got Shine and Night Owl. Thorn's potion kind of makes a lot of sense. Um, against a boss that's going to hit us often. And Danger Sense won't really help. Hunter Potion would be very, very, very helpful. But, uh... But I don't know... 
I guess I would actually have to go to the ocean and get some shark fins. Otherwise, fish them up in crates or something. Terraria song? Do dee do 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 dun den do? Indeed. Hulk, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've already done our fishing quest. It is 6 p.m. Um, oh, oh, oh. It's not the Eater of Worlds, it's the Brain of Cthulhu that we have to fight. That could be better, and it could be worse. Compared to fighting Eater of Worlds. We're going to have to fight it here, or maybe here. Here might make a lot more sense, because we've got a couple of, like, pseudo-platforms that we could jump on. This game's still fun, indeed. Uh, I definitely want a calming potion if I can manage it. Because if I'm not going to build any kind of arena, I need to minimize the number of those spiders coming in while I'm trying to fight the boss. But I think we need to do some sky fishing for that. Calming... Ushon. I would also like some featherfall. And some Wrath would be good. I need to fish up some Ebon Koi. Uh, Endurance Potion is a very good idea. I need to fish for that as well. Here it is, Calming Potion. Damselfish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Damselfish come from the Sky Islands. We've got one very close by. I might just make a rope that comes up here. Right about at this tree. Uh, I should have a bunch of silk rope. We've got 111. I can turn cobwebs into more of it if I need to. Nighttime, probably not the best time to go and do this, but it shouldn't be that dangerous with our current gear. Using the mini shark partly for the light source here. We're almost there already. Alright, I believe it's this tree. Right about here is where we want to start putting down our rope. I do have an umbrella I can quickly switch to in case of falling. In fact, let me just switch to it now. And if only for the audience, as is light. Might also help me see a harpy coming. Okay. Um, as is light, indeed. Koha, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How does fishing power work? Like, what does increasing it do? Um, basically, increasing fishing power increases the rarity uh, of the stuff that you're going to fish up most of the time. Um, you want to make sure you have a, a certain minimum of fishing power as well. Otherwise, you'll fish up, like, old boots and stuff. Um, part of that is you need to make sure that you've got at least 300 tiles of water to fish from in one body without, like, overhangs of, uh, not water. Yeah, I think the spawn rate here is going to be a bit too high for fishing at night for this stage, but I can go ahead and build a nice little... Nice little bridge thing here. Well, not bridge. Like a veranda. Kind of want that to be platform. So the water goes over here. And then... Could you be persuaded not to distract me? Thanks. 
Thank you. May as well park a zombie banner here. This is actually a pretty good spot if we actually wanted to farm zombies and eyes. But yeah, we've got half the night to wait through this. I think I'll come back. Actually, I think if I come back during the day, there's going to be way more harpies. Uh, we're getting a bunch of spawns that would be harpies and we get demon eyes instead right now. I think is how that works. Let's get some wooden fence. And... I'm actually out of wood. I guess that'll have to do for now. Alright. Is there any chance we can actually get away with fishing here at night even a little bit? Let's try. Actually, I think I want to make sure I still have the umbrella available. And we'll switch to our fishing gear. Damselfish, that's what we're looking for. I actually only need one if I'm going to attempt the boss fight just once. Of course, it'd be nice if we could fish up a sky crate or two. Especially considering that we can't actually get uh, into the sky islands right now. It might be the only way I can get um, wings and balloon before going into the dungeon. They should make the natives and nests drop items. Natives and nests. Factorio? Ow. Let's keep going with the fishing. We can get a little fishing done at least. I don't think I've got anything in my armor that increases or decreases my... Oh, I've got the shark tooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. My damage. So I need to switch when I want to fight things. Give me that coin. And give me that you. It's almost morning, two minutes, and then we'll be fighting harpies instead, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got a summon. That would probably help. Uh, what do we have? Link staff. What game were you playing last time? What game was I playing last time? Do you mean yesterday? Factorio. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that helps a lot against the slow trickle of zombies trying to prevent us from fishing. I think we're going to have more than enough damselfish for a while. I could use some of them for food. Plenty of lenses, too. I could fight the Eye of Cthulhu again, I guess. Assuming... It's actually only two lenses I picked up the whole time I've been here. I 
going to want that star. A second shield of Cthulhu, if only so that I can dash while I fish, would be very helpful. Oh yeah, I could probably ignore the zombies if I stand up here, huh? Don't tell Damsel you're eating her fish. Hey, we got a crate. Nice. Uh, I think she knows. Here's Mike. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think Damsel uh, is usually here on Terraria Tuesdays. It's one of her off-stream games. Ooh, golden crate. It's not the, uh, it's not the sky crate that I'm looking for, but that's still pretty good. We might get some hunter potions out of these if we're lucky. Although that doesn't matter as much because we're not fighting um, the Eater of Worlds. Alright, let's go like five more fish and if we don't get a... We don't get a crate, I'll move on for the moment. Actually, I need to do a fishing quest. Let's go. Also, as many recall potions as I have, maybe I should carry the magic mirror. We got obsidian skin, tsunami in a bottle? I'm pretty sure that's a better double jump. Let's test it. Cloud in a bottle, I can go like one tile above the lamps. I could also have multiple double jumps, that might even be better. Although, it'll hurt a little bit to swap out the movement bonus. 2% crit, 3 defense, that's definitely better. And it goes higher. Oh yeah, I could fish up a uh, Sharkron thingamajig. The thing this combines into, and then I would have like a slightly weaker version of the balloon as well. Oh, hardy saddle. I have my first... Well, not my first mount, actually. Uh, this one's actually incredibly slow, unless it's in water, in which case it's very effective. Uh, but that doesn't come up often. I was thinking I should maybe go after King Slime so that I have the, the slime mount for fighting... Brain of uh, Cthulhu. That could actually be extremely helpful. But, frankly, King Slime terrifies me with this mode. Although, now would be a good time to fight him. Stink bugs. Well, what are we fishing up? Caught in surface. Dynamite fish. I need to fish up some... Uh, some armored cave fish as well. And some ebon koi. To maximize my chances. Can we get away from this fake desert biome and fish here? It's probably not that big of a fishing spot anyway. And this one's just up here. Where's my fishing pole? Uh, frog leg? I guess I'll take... We've already got two, I think, though. Always welcome an iron crate. I 
Does luck, luck potions or gnomes help with fishing? I think it probably does. Probably? I don't know. Another iron... Okay, we're getting a lot of crates, not the stuff we're actually looking for. There's our dynamite. Uh, dynamite fish. Where's our angler? There we go. Minecart again? Really? Alright, let's quick stack. Pick this up. Quick stack. Uh, obsidian skin. Can go in here for now. Heart reach might be good against the boss. Should probably take that. I should probably take double double jump as well instead of a eight percent movement. That's hard to that's hard to ignore, but with no arena and early game movement against the brain of C uh, C Cthulhu, triple jump is going to be pretty helpful also. And we've got dash, so the movement bonus isn't as important. Okay, I think we're probably almost ready. Uh, let's go fish up an armored cave fish. Ooh, that's a lot of diamond. We've already got a diamond hook, though. Alright. Fishing, we go. Another crate? What is going on today? I need to make some calming potions. Uh, and I'll probably sacrifice a couple of these to make food. Just, I'm just looking for an armored cave fish. There we go. And realistically, I should go get an ebon koi as well. Also, check my ammo. We're down to 6.8k. I think we're fine, actually. Uh, sell the extra minecart. Minecart. It doesn't drop into the Shimmer for something different, does it? We'll just double check what these are good for. Calming potions, seafood dinner, indeed. Braria looks like a simple enough game, but getting the impression here there's a lot more going on and you can always learn new stuff. You will never learn it all. Unless you have the absolute premium hard drive brain. You'll never remember everything there is with Terraria. It's... there's a lot. Oh, we do have... we've got a million armored cave fish, actually. Um, okay then. Let's make some... calming potions. And Endurance Potion. Endurance Potion. Fantastic. Um, we can put the Goldfish Trophy up, I guess. Give me that stupid stink bug. Sell the ginger beard. Um, put away the silver bars, I guess. Oh, I could make uh, silver bullets or maybe tungsten bullets. That's probably a good idea. Um, and 
bullets. Tungsten bullets, plus two damage. Which is kind of a big deal at this stage. Um, I might stash the hardy saddle away. And the aglet in here. May as well carry the magic mirror. Oh, whippy cushion I could combine with cloud in a bottle, I think. And it actually gives us a bigger jump, it's not just a gimmick. Oh, but I need the Tinkerer's Workshop, I forgot. Alright. Don't need mud blocks at the moment. I think I'll put this over here. And I think... I think we're off. Unfortunately, I didn't get any hunter's potions. There's no water in this. I mean, there's a tiny bit. Oh, there's also lava if I end up over here. I may as well take the water walking potion. It actually works with lava as well. Knockback is actually good against the little brain thingies, the eyes. Okay. I should use... I, I should use the tungsten bow with the jester's arrows when they're all clumped up together so we can multi-shot them. Zol Jane, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I haven't fought the uh, Brain of Cthulhu in forever. So I don't necessarily remember all of its movements and stuff. Uh, at all, really. But basically what I remember is in the first phase, a million eyes come at us. Um, we'll want to hit them with piercing damage, so we have the Tungsten Bow and a lot of Jester's Arrows. Actually, I'm enjoying this triple jump more than I thought I would. Uh, and then in the final phase, we want to use the mini shark. Um, because the teleporting brain of Cth uh, confusion, we can keep it away from us just by dealing a tiny bit of damage to it. We want to do that as quickly and consistently as possible. What drops are you looking for from the brain? Uh, well, we need it to progress. Uh, the tissue samples are needed to make the, the good stuff that's made out of demonite, or the crimson equivalent. Um, I also want stronger defense, um, also a little bit of, like, melee attack speed. Oh, I think you get regen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually by far the best early game regen that you can get um, this set is. I kind of want to make a tunnel through here, but I don't have any blocks right now. Alright, down we go. Boomerang's actually really good against these. Oh, I forgot I wanted to make Featherfall, but I didn't see any Harpies, so we don't have any, um... We don't have any Feathers. Alright, so this is one of the two places that I might fight the Brain. We got the Mood Lighting Torches. Let's get rid of these vanilla ones. 
And right here, this is why I'm going to want some calming potions. It looks like nothing can come from the left if we fight here, so I think that's probably going to be a lot better um, to avoid getting ads. Oh no. Oh no, that was dumb. Let's get some light in here. We've run out of the fancy ones. This would be a good place to do uh, the Torch God as well, actually. Except for the whole endless stream of spawning spiders. Actually, I shouldn't waste my silver bullets on these things. Tungsten bullets. Let's get this whole place scouted before we commit. We do have a couple of little platforms up here, but that doesn't make me entirely comfortable somehow. Boomerang for the win. Also, we have lava over here. Might want to avoid that. I was thinking of fishing here to get some ebon koi or the equivalent or the plus crit potion. Mini shark's actually like the prime candidate to benefit from crit as well, since it sort of gets through armor. That's a bomb. But I'm not seeing a good spot to fish. Unless I reshape everything around this uh, body of water in the middle. Which is not out of the question. Let's get that banner placed. And I'd like to get another one so the whole area um, has bonus damage against crawlers. I am here what happened, Vin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, not a whole lot happened just yet. We're just getting ready to fight the Reign of Cthulhu. And yeah, I might use my bombfish and explode this area. Just to get one body of water. Oh, could you stop, please? Thank you. Trying to look at my inventory. Oh, that was close. Needlessly close. We can't actually dig through these tiles yet, but we can explode them. Oh. It's tricky. I could use some uh, glow sticks right about now. this. And then we should have one nice big body of water that uh, hopefully adds up to 300 tiles. 
so that we can get good fishing here. If I recall correctly, I've already broken two of these hearts. Ooh, I could have accidentally summoned the brain there. Yikes. Uh, but yeah, this should definitely be good enough um, for good fishing. And we've got a nice little spot to camp as well. So I'm looking for... Um, I can't remember the name of it. But it's the equivalent of Ebon Koi. There, I think that's it. Crimson Tigerfish. Or it looks very similar to this. Um, for making plus 10% crit potions. The banner looks like it's doubling the damage. Nice, indeed. Yeah, I definitely want one more banner so I can put it on the left side. So the whole area... Ooh, a golden carp. Not extremely rare, but pretty rare. It's only worth money, but still. Seems like our luck stat is just higher today. I guess I could go back and check if Crimson Tigerfish is the one we're looking for. If so, we're pretty much ready to go already. I might just move the banner for the boss fight. One fish a day, please go away. Nine gold, ninety silver, ten copper. I'll take it. And we'll have your dive at as well. Um, Crimson Tiger Fish is good for Heart Reach Potion. Uh, I mean, a Heart Reach Potion isn't bad, but it's not the one I'm looking for. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take the time to fish up the extra little bit of damage. Time is at 3 a.m. I would like a Featherfall potion. See if we can't get some harpies to appear by going upstairs. I literally just need one feather, and harpies very, very, very often drop feathers. Weird that the dash didn't prevent damage. Are you doing the angler quests? Yeah, to some extent. Alright. I haven't seen a single harpy spawn up here. For some reason. I'm pretty sure. Surely we're high enough. Are we? There they are. Ouch. Give me your feathers. My, you take a lot of damage. Do I have to jump up this high to potentially get them to spawn? What's the deal with this? Oh, here we go. Target acquired. And 
we get our feather. Fantastic. Should have everything we need to make a featherfall potion. Apparently not. Crafting. Featherfall. We need Blinkroot Daybloom. Are we out of Blinkroot? Oh no. Uh, where are the Blinkroot seeds? We've actually got 25. Um, and I haven't decided where I want to farm the Blinkroot. Probably down here. Do we have... Uh... I usually have extra lying around somewhere. Do we not have those platform planters? We apparently don't. Okay. Oh wait, it's raining. Let's harvest the uh, water leaf. Uh, if we have any, actually. Surely there's some random water leaf. Here we go. We can at least get our farm started. And again. And we found three more on this side. Very surprising. Very nice. Alright, cool. Alright, give to me a bunch of Blinkroot planters. That's a lot, actually. And this is actually a good spot. Put our Blinkroot farm in here. Should be enough for all of our seeds right now. Oh, we've got a traveling merchant that I didn't notice. What are we selling today? Lifeform Analyzer? Do we have that yet? Don't really care about the yo-yos. We do. The flamingos, indeed. M-C-A-S? What? M-C-A-S. Alright, give me the blink root. And that's all of it planted. I see a worm down there, but it's... I didn't... Can't be bothered to go get it. Maybe if I cover some ground, we'll be lucky enough to find some random blink root. Doubtful. I think we'll just have to wait a bit. Oh, hey. More water leaf seeds. Take those. Trip wasn't for nothing. Alright, that's pretty good. Doesn't take too much to get enough water leaf to really get things going. Let's put our feather in here and blink root planter in here, I think. We'll get rid of this extra stack of worms and I think it's time to go fight the boss. We've got all the potions, except for Featherfall, but I think we'll be okay. Especially with Triple Jump and Diamond Grappling Hook and Umbrella. 
We got the monster lasagna. We've got our flinks. Mini shark, tungsten bullets, tungsten bow, jester's arrows. I need to remember to press V for the arrows. I should probably build a rail system. This uh, commute is getting old. Take the shiver thorn though. Whoops. Never seen Terraria before. Heard of it. Never actually seen it. Looks like 2D Minecraft as title. Am I wrong? Uh, it's pretty different from Minecraft. Yeah. Imagine if Minecraft had actually good combat for the most part and a really good sort of item and enemy strength based metroidvania-esque kind of progression all right we're almost there you basically go from like in terms of power and movement, uh, at the start of the game, you're extremely weak and slow and awkward. And by the end of it, you're basically a god and you take on Cthulhu's brother. Terraria has more than ten? More than ten what? Uh-oh. Minecraft has two bosses, none including the one. Yeah, Terraria has a lot of bosses. Uh, quite a lot of bosses. I don't know how many. Probably like, uh, with the Calamity mod, I think I remember setting up like a trophy room and it was more than 30. But it's probably like half or a third of that for the vanilla game-ish. Oops, oops, oops. That was a little embarrassing. I just want to grab this banner and move it over to the left. Where's the banner? I want to put it about here. There we go. Alright, and then we drink our potions. Clear the enemies. We've got a calming potion, so as soon as they're gone, there won't be that many of them coming back. Knockback is kind of amazing, actually, with the Titan potion. Alright, bomb fish. And it's on. Oh, wow. Okay, oh, I think I'm stuck. I'm dead. Wow, that... I can't get away at all. Um... I couldn't even find an angle to get out of that. What was I supposed to do there? Well, rip all of those potions. Uh, most of them we've still got some. What did I lose? Titan Potion? Titan Potion is actually kind of... Oh, it's irreplaceable, so there's no point thinking about it. Uh, probably kind of good for that fight. I should definitely clear the enemies a bit more aggressively, because there are a couple that were still in my face at the end. Um, why have I got... Oh, this is the Light Pet. Yeah, no thanks. Um, this might be really, really difficult without a boss fight arena. I could blow this up and have the water for a flat surface. 
It's not really building an arena. If we fill the place with platforms, that would be crossing the line. Um, I really want a Featherfall Potion. No, actually, I really, really want the Slime Mount. That actually could have got me out of that by bouncing on top of the eyes. I'm just dreading fighting King Slime again. Uh, how much gel do we have? All of it. We need a crown. We've got plenty of gold. Oops, I didn't mean to spend all of it. Why do I have 67 gold bars and I can't make a crown? Oh, I need gems. Rubies, to be precise. I've only got two rubies. Um, how many rubies does it take to make the crown? It only takes one. I'm going to take a little risk here. We'll make one crown. And I want to make one ruby gem corn, which will more than likely, but not necessarily... Uh, start reproducing rubies for us. As long as we don't get unlucky on the first tree, it should be fine. That's how I beat most bosses. Build a trap? What do you mean by a trap? May as well grab some more diamonds. Okay, I don't think the, um, I don't think these circle things on the left were actually good fighting that boss. Having that verticality, being able to move around like that is not as important as just having a lot of space to get away from, uh, away from the eyes. Probably. I accidentally put one over here. Alright, let's go make ourselves a summon thing for King Slime. Traveling merchant has departed. We got gel, we got crown. I think we just need uh, Crimson Altar, which unfortunately means we have to travel over there again. Unless there's one over here that I haven't noticed. Which I don't think there is. Let's get moving. It looked like the smaller eyes came from the cave to the right. Maybe start there? That was just like randomly where the eye, where the brain happened to spawn. I should probably climb up to there and glide with the umbrella next time. A little bit easier. Do do do. Is that another Shiverthorn? Oh, I still haven't fished up the plus crit potions either. Should probably do that. How did you dodge that? DPS could be a lot better. Well, 
But the unfortunate thing is it probably couldn't be a lot better yet. I really need to harvest some more... Where'd you stop? Harvest some more wood as well. Ooh, deathweed is blooming. Let's grab the seeds. And... This is... Oh, there's one up there. No, that's a pot. Yeah, this is actually our nearest crimson altar. Down here. A little bit inconvenient. We don't have to come to use these things to craft very often, but still. Alright, do we have enough monster meat for medium food again? Yes, we do. And would it be okay to fight King Slime at night? Probably. Wouldn't necessarily be a very good idea. Can we do a fishing quest? Underground and caverns. We need a bonefish. Uh, Zindo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Probably got enough specular fish spare to uh, make food out of them as well. Since I started just picking up random recall potions a lot at about the same time as when I started fishing up specular fish. There's our bonefish. I could do the Eye of Cthulhu. That might be a good idea. Do we have enough lens? It doesn't matter because I have to go all the way back to a crimson altar to, to craft the thing to summon it. Okay. Should we just try killing King Slime? I kind of can't wait, to be honest. Alright. I have to expect the worst from this boss. Oh boy. When does it teleport? Here we go. Okay, really important to read the teleport, because if I don't see it coming, I won't be able to get out. Here it comes. Does he do a big jump on the third one? Yes, fourth. I don't want to get trapped by slimes. How about we do some piercing to kill the slimes? When are you going to teleport? Alright, I think we're fine, actually. Since we're not actually caught off guard this time. Just don't get caught off guard. Can't see him. That's not good. He's a lot smaller now. Yeah, I think we were just caught too distracted before. He's really just the same boss, just way bigger. So if he teleports on top of you at the start of the fight, it's just over. Alright, and then we have our slime mount. Which is, in my opinion, the only combat relevant mount in the game. 
there is of course the Queen Slime Mount, which is a direct upgrade to this, but that's neither here nor there. Now we have a pet slime. Good boy. What do we get? Ninja Pants and Ninja Hood. Uh, I can't remember... I can't even remember what other items you can get from... Uh, from King Slime. The only one I care about is the mount. So if we had turned this on when the eyes were crowding us, we would have, like, Mario bounced on top of them all and probably found ourselves able to get out um, when they swarmed us. Devil's Dandruff, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's sell the relic. Uh, I guess I'll take the solidifier, put it in the old wherever we're keeping all of these weird uh, special crafting items. Um, I don't really want to throw out the ninja gear. Slime gun doesn't actually do anything, it's just a toy, literally. Don't need the rope. I can make slimes friendly. Maybe I could have that for fishing, actually. Slimes become friendly. I don't think they'll defend you or anything, but... There's that. Oh, oh I did not see that. Good thing I was dashing. I guess I wouldn't have dealt damage to it if I didn't dash. The explosive bunny. Even if you have the guide to critter companionship, you still hurt the explosive bunnies. And you can self... You can kill yourself with them if you're not careful. Give me those lenses. I should probably make a demon bow or the crimson equivalent. Um, oh, we do have blink root here. Just a little bit. Let's get that blink root farm going a little bit faster. I thought we'd at least find one of these blooming. But nope. And we do have our one blink root for making a featherfall potion as well. I wonder what happens with the Mario bounce with the featherfall potion. Featherfall. And I don't really need the fuzzy carrot anymore. Put in underground and caverns. Let's go. Getting a lot of very convenient fishing quests. And I think after this we'll try the brain again. There's our spider fish. I wonder if I could use the explosive bunnies against the boss. That would be dangerous, but also hilarious. Let's get some death weed just growing over here, I guess, for the moment. Oh, and there's some more blink root. Can go in here. Don't know why 
I'm holding a single clay pot. And we need some food. 19 specular fish. Let's make some seafood dinner. Stink fish, we're not using that for anything else. Specular fish. Fantastic. Don't really need to carry the grilled squirrel at this point, I think. Cat boy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Using explosive bunnies against bosses used to be possible, but they changed it so you can't stack the explosives anymore. So not as good. Okay, so we'd have to spread them out and risk hurting ourselves. Uh, but yeah, I think we're about as ready as we can be for the moment. At least without plus 10% damage. And I don't know if the knockback potion was helping or not. I think I was muted. Uh, the Gemcon trees, I don't believe they need a different background. I think it's only the depth that matters. I could be wrong. They might need, like, a lack of a background. Do we have a background here? Uh, hard to tell. In this position. I wonder how close I could get. Kinda close to that sky island. Thank you very much, you're welcome. Okay. I forgot to bring the the lenses for crafting. Take this uh, banner and move it over here. We can't explode these anyway, so they're just going to be there. And I guess we start preparing to fight again. Panic necklace. Increases movement speed after taking damage. That's not very good by itself. Okay. Oh, where's my bow? Oh, crap. Please, no. I literally looked at my inventory for one second and I was... I looked back, I was stuck in an infinite combo. Okay, I guess we're walking all the way back there again. Um, I kind of thought five would be my bow for some reason. 
What does the Panic Necklace do? It combines with Sweetheart Necklace, releases bees, movement speed, regen. Band of Star Power? That's weird. Oh yeah, I was saving some blue stars for this. Um, I don't know what to do to avoid getting stuck in that infinite combo, though. I don't remember that ever being a thing. It would be nice if it didn't, you know, spawn and chase us before we have to, like, get into position. I'll have to, like, leave a bomb over here to give myself time. What's this? Another rotted fork? Get out of here. And... I think we had a... We do not have a band of star power lying around. Oof, indeed. We've still got all the same potions. I don't know how I've failed to lose my red potions. I've definitely pressed B for buff a few times, and I thought I only had four before. Ugh. So, so far in For the Worthy, uh, every boss I've fought except for the Eye of Cthulhu in the early game, if you make a single mistake early on enough, you'll literally just get comboed to death. Nothing you can do after that. The earliest stage of this boss fight is by far the hardest as well. Not like the Eater of Wilds. Well, with the Eater of Wilds it depends. We go again. to miss that one entirely. Right, uh, I'll bomb this one last, so that I actually have a chance to be in position before the fight starts, or at least only three seconds into the fight. We've still got plenty of arrows. I should probably take my... Uh, palming potion right now. Try and clear out any enemies before we start. Oh, and I don't have a... I don't have a featherfall potion this time. Alright. Do not get caught by the eyes or it's all over. That's the next... I, I can't, I can't. And it teleports on me as well. Um, I don't think there's enough room in one of these areas. I'm gonna have to do like a circuit from left to right. 
And if I'd known that going in, I probably could have at least lasted past that point. Because trying at this point to go back down this way or something, uh, there just wasn't enough room left. So you really have to know before the boss fight starts that the first phase is just about running away from the eyes. It's not about hitting them well or anything. Red potion's technically not a buff. Indeed. I didn't get more feathers, did I? I'm not that convinced a featherfall potion is going to be that good now. What did I lose? Heart reach. That's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we can we can still try with the same stuff. So the first phase of this boss fight is like a serious Sam arena. Run around in huge circles, shooting everything and kiting. You should definitely not try to duck and weave your way through. I could use the Crimson Rod um, for a little bit more damage as well, I guess. It is a little warm here today, to say the least. Cacophony? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I thought I had some blocks. I must have quick stacked them. I want to dig through here, but without wrecking the sand. Still got functionally infinite ammo, I think. Oh, it's going to get worse as well. Uh, I guess I could break one of these two to start the fight. But if I keep messing it up, it's going to get worse for like... How far away from the intended boss fight arena I have to go to break the orbs to get the thing started. Hey, evil plot. Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, is this... There is a Crimson Heart down here, but we don't have enough water to deal with this lava. And thank you very much for the resub. Much yeah, appreciate... Oh, 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 Why was there a ghost? Why was there a ghost? Why was there a ghost? Look what I got. Indeed. Eleven months. Uh, very, very much appreciated, Evil Claw. Thank you. Now I'm paranoid that there's going to be a ghost at any moment for no reason. Okay, I think I'll break these two and this one, or the one up the top, to get the fight started. Oh, did I break the obelisk? I didn't even notice. That must be why the ghost showed up. Where did I even... What? I died here. I didn't go back there. There's somehow an obelisk in my inventory. And a ghost showed up. I don't understand. Let's 
screams echo around you. Uh oh. Alright. Take 3,000. I don't think that's going to start the boss fight. Okay. We buff, we take red potion, and a million enemies show up right before we're trying to get started. I didn't drink like a hunter potion with the rage potion, did I? Heart reach, hunt. I did get a hunter potion. Oh wait, no, that I'm thinking of the wrong one. Hunter just shows enemies. Uh, Wrath, Swiftness, Night Owl, Shine, Endurance, Iron Skin, Regent. No, we don't have anything buffing enemy spawn rate. This is just the ridiculous spawn rate that we have to deal with in this place. Even with a Calming Potion. Uh, we got another banner for Blood Crawlers, though. Let's place this one over here. That'll be a lot less of a problem now. Alright. Once again, it's on. It literally... Okay, what am I supposed to do about that? It literally teleported in my way. I... I don't know uh, what is expected there. I have these eyes coming toward me from one side. I move one direction, and the brain literally just spawns in my way? What? Am I supposed to just sit there and let the eyes catch up with me until the brain teleports? Like... Am I supposed to have the Rod of Discord for this fight? Is that how this works? Literally, just here are some eyes. I'd better go this way. Brain spawns in my face. There is nothing I could have done from that point. And there's nothing I could have done, no matter how good I am, to avoid that. Unless I know the exact movement patterns of the boss before the boss fight starts. This is, in my opinion, the epitome of shitty boss fight design. Uh, I hate the brain. Can I, like, skip the brain of Cthulhu until we're overpowered for it? I could attempt Queen Bee with gold armor. That's gonna go well. Um, I can't, I don't believe I can get Hellstone, uh, Hellstone armor before, before getting the Crimson Pickaxe. There's probably, I don't think it's happened yet, but I think we've met the conditions for a Media to fall, so I could get Media armor. That is just profoundly obnoxious, though. It literally just spawned in my face while I was dodging the eyes. Like, there's no... there's no counterplay to that. Unless there's some very weirdly specific tell that you would only know if you've seen the boss fight before. <sighs> I should probably explore to the right and try and find that meteor that I don't think has actually fallen yet, actually. Because I think meteor armor might be by far the best I can get. Well, I mean, it's available now-ish, and it's actually the armor that I used to beat Duke Fishron, so... 
Kind of, yes. I don't know if we have a spell to back it up, though, to make it the best um, DPS armor. Let's get some light. Oh, I forgot I could teleport. Oh well. Get some stars and moon glow. Some moon glow. Pretty sure we've hit functionally infinite moon glow by now. bridge. I hope I'm wrong and there has been a media by this point. I'm pretty sure the only conditions that have to be met is same as the uh, goblin invasion. Uh, which, come to think of it, we did that and we still haven't found our goblin friend. Um, you have to have at least 200 hit points and you have to have broken at least one uh, demon or crimson orb. So I guess if if I have to be stat-wise OP to survive the Brain of Cthulhu for three seconds, Even with good damage gear, it's not going to help though, because it's going to teleport onto my face, and I'm just going to die. Really, I need the tankiest gear that you can get in free hard mode, but we can't get that far. That's a lot of mushrooms. I don't think you can bomb Hellstone before you have that pickaxe. Hot swap armors? Yeah. Easy. Especially considering I can't swap while I'm attacking. Well, here's a whole other place to come to. If we've, if we've run out of decent ways to start the boss fight over here, which we kind of have. Kind of, almost. I could make a summon item and fight it on the surface. That might actually make a, a lot more sense. Um, but even so, the last time we died it wasn't the terrain that was the problem. It was the fact that the brain literally teleported in our face while we were in motion. So it's basically going to be a more of a much more obnoxious uh, king slime fight, whereby you need to know the tell that he's about to teleport. And if you don't, he'll literally one-shot combo you. But with the brain, I have to be watching out for that. Ooh, there's a bit of good news at least. 
Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? S-O... Damsel... There we go. Wait, what? Oh, that worked. Okay, cool. How's your stream, uh, damsel? Uh, I need to get the rest of that stuff out of that chest. There might be some good things. Well, there's definitely one good thing. Stream was great. Actually got a lot done. Nice, nice. My own uh, SE playthrough is starting to really come together as well. What am I doing with the rotted fork? I don't really like that weapon. Outposted a whole new planet and also got some additional copper supply. Nice, nice. I am Persin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I wish I brought my gills potion. It's actually in... Oh, I did. I forgot I have money trough. It is in piggy bank. There we go. Hello, I am. How are you? Um, Much too hot, but other than that, mostly okay. A little bit cranky at bad Terraria bosses. I'm sure the heat has nothing to do with that. Alright, we got our water walking boots with no real effort. That's something. That is a, I will not say a small mercy for this playthrough. Because that thing can be really hard to get. And you need it for the Terrace Park Boots. Let's grab that Coral. Don't do that IRL, please. I thought there was a... Jellyfish over there. It's freezing in upstate New York, indeed. I'll trade you. Not like swap the temperatures, just trade some heat. Alright, can we get some sharks attacking before our gills potion runs out, please? I think I got a water candle or two. Uh, but apparently it's not here. I'm in upstate as well. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rochester. Or, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I like the way you walk if you're walking my way. Okay. That's a shark. Boomerangs for the win. So much knockback. And we do get a fin. Fantastic. Free wall of flesh, indeed. Yeah, this is my first playthrough of... Uh, what is it called? Brawl the Worthy. LSF, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not back on this thing though. Only got two minutes left on the gills. Back to lurking. I heard upstate and had to die. Fair enough. Let's drop these glow sticks. Actually, surprisingly, I only have four. Gonna run out of gills before we get another shark.
I could probably do some ocean fishing since we're here. Is that a shark? Nope. That's my imagination. That's a shark, though. Now that we're out of time. Shark versus shark. Who will win? I wonder. Oh, another one. Diving helmet. Nice. That's actually really hard to get. And a component of by far the best water movement gear that you can get before hard mode. Alright, uh, let's do a little fishing. What am I looking for, though? We already got the water walking boots. Uh, I'll definitely take a crate, sure. If I'm waiting on... I guess I could... I, I think I could make the... Uh, the obsidian armor. Before fighting the brain of Cthulhu. I, I might be wrong about that. Yeah, B, take out the doggo. Fair enough. Uh, that's the end of my inventory, pretty much. Oh, I, I keep forgetting I do have the money trough. We're actually still close enough to the crimson for these to spawn. Alright, what are we taking home? Uh, definitely the coral, don't care about the starfish, tulip shell, lightning, whelk. Give me these mushrooms, give me back my arrows. Don't really care about the fireflies, we'll quick stack these. And I guess that'll have to do. Seeing a blood crawler at the ocean is kind of really off putting. Be gone. It'd be really nice if I could get a conch. That would actually be a really convenient way to visit the crimson. Apparently, oh, there's almost no way down here, naturally. Uh, we don't have a natural... Oh, we kind of do. That should be a natural entrance to Underground Desert over there. Maybe I could... No, I think it's better if I just travel back here again. Carrying way too much. Got another tsunami in a bottle? I think I'll keep the plus three armor, though. That's something I do need to fish up, is a uh, balloon equivalent. Let's put the water chest over here. Die things go in here. Our first two shark fins can go in here. I don't know why I would want to carry wooden arrows. Most of the time. Uh, do we have a flipper already? I don't think so. Otherwise I would have probably combined it with a frog leg. Okay. Fishing quest. Surface tundra. I forgot what else I was about to do. May as well do that. Let's get some shine pots. And we don't have that much blink root. So I think I'll skip the night owl for now. Should probably Check how much blink root is glowing. Uh, zero. Cool, cool. Um, and I wanted to go into the underground desert. And this might be a good place to do it. 
I also kind of want to move the desert pylon since it's uh, a very, very short walk over here. Well, first thing I want to do is see if we can get straight into the underground desert over this way. Wish I didn't have to keep double tapping the optimal glide slope. But at least we're here. Alright, let's widen this thing a little bit. Get some light. Regen, iron skin, uh, maybe food as well. Down we go. I can hear underground jungle things. I can see underground jungle things. Damsel, thank you very much. Also this, indeed. Thank you so much uh, for the sub. Much appreciated. Four months, wow. I didn't even realize it's been that long. Uh, thank you so much, damsel. I need to be a little bit careful here. I think my minion broke it. Good job, minion. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. I might just wait over here for this. I do have some grenades. Which are rolling in a very counterintuitive manner. Got some desert torches. I still haven't done the torch guard. Plenty of sand after this. Alright, so our goal down here is Desert Conch. What is that? Nothing, I suppose? Uh-oh. Keeps the same schedule. Late night doggo. Good dog. I guess I could use some grand owl to speed this up. How did that miss? Scarabon. Down you go. Oh, didn't see you there. Kind of wasting my tungsten bullets, but they're pretty cheap. And they will become obsolete. After hard mode. Oh, I didn't think he'd jump up there. Why are there so many? Rouse. Probably shouldn't have made a three tile wide uh, drop that they can get through. I definitely should have brought some of those 
Spelunker potions. I can use danger sense at least, that tells us some stuff. That tells us quite a lot actually. Happy to see a heart, but I forgot we have full health already. Oh well. We can always make heart, uh, heart lanterns. Should probably at least have those at my bases. That's a lot of gold. Give me all of it, please. Running out of bomb fish. I haven't seen a single chest yet, though. So the water candle does having it in your inventory work, or does it need to be placed? Uh, either it needs to be placed, or if you hold it in your hand like a regular torch, uh, I believe that also carries the monster spawning uh, debuff. So if you want to, you could carry it around in your hand, and then the moment you switch, uh, the monster spawn rate will drop back down to normal until you hold it again. Um, we're pretty much almost out of bombs. How did you... you sneak? I think I'll come back here with, um, with the Spelunker potion, because I'm sure I would have passed at least one chest by now. I should think so, anyway. Is that a statue? Ow, what the? I think a pot broke and there was a bomb. Yeah, that's a worm statue. Unfortunately, it's uh, not useful. Just like the owl statues, they just spawn things that you can't actually pick up. Gary Joanna, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should probably... Oh, I do have regen. It's actually about to run out. Ow. Should probably pay more attention. There we go. Never too many iron skin potion ingredients. Oh, that's a trap. I think this is a sandfall trap. Not anymore, it's not. We see lava. That's not that unusual on this seed, though. Oh, I thought it would be dead. Oh, 
Oh, there's another trap there. Good to know. Have some grenades. And use as well. There you go. grenades are not coming back. Ow. Getting a lot of desert torches. Grenades are not going where I want them to. Maybe bouncy grins would be better in here. Ouch. There we go. We'll have plenty of land, uh, landables, mandibles, rather. Just ignore this. Ow. How did they hit me? I did the Shield of Cthulhu dash. Masochism? You think so? <laughs> it depends on just how much worse the, uh... Uh... For the Worthy is. Um, let's do a Shine Potion. Ow! That's so rude. trying to help, but that was poorly timed. It took like 10 tries and had a huge arena. Just beat Eater of Worlds for my For the Worthy Master mode and it was hell. Yeah, um, the Brain of Cthulhu, I definitely feel like we probably got unlucky by getting Crimson. Brain of Cthulhu seems just incredibly obnoxious. Uh, it literally just teleports in my path while I'm trying to dodge the eyes. Not sure what I'm supposed to do about that, except just have really strong gear.
Could I get my minion down there? There we go. Can barely beat the destroyer on regular mode with no arena. Um, that's pretty good though. I still haven't seen a single chest down here. All the Worthy does not want to give you chests. It really doesn't. It's... I don't want to say... It, it, it's less for the Worthy and more for the Masochistic from what I've seen so far. It's not just harder, it's... You know... It's kind of like Crastorio 2 locking... Um, Locking proper logistic bots behind having a Cry Knight outpost. It's not really more of a challenge, it's just more annoying. At least if we can find places with lava, we'll have more vision and maybe find a chest more easily. How did you dodge? How? Oh my god. The Shield of Cthulhu literally dashed through them. Uh, what? Does it just not work in For the Worthy, or did they break it or something? But yeah, I tossed a grenade and a boomerang, and one of those things dashed straight through this hallway. Somehow. Maybe the, maybe the antlions have some kind of random phase that I'm only noticing occasionally. Bulky Mandible Blade. It's actually comparable to my katana. Usually menacing on everything guy, but just wasn't working. Don't build arenas because I've only seen you play Monkey C, Monkey 2. Uh, you are playing on hard mode. Like, most people think of arenas as strictly necessary. It seems like. Uh-oh. 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 I can't believe we still haven't found a single chest in the desert. Should have watched out for traps before I jumped over here. We found a house, though. Maybe it'll have a desert chest. Ooh, is that a Spelunker potion? I'll take it. That is a desert chest. It's not really... This house isn't really in the desert. It's just on the edge of the biome. We got the best statue, and we got, I think, our first grav potion. Um, That's kind of a get. But best statue is really just for building arenas. I mean, I'll put one at home base, but... Oh god, that's the jungle. Oh no, oh no. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of jungle bats down here either. Uh, there seems to be an awful lot of underground jungle on this seed. What else am I going to put away here? I've only got two desert torches left. Leave this crap behind. Take the tungsten. Don't care about the dynamite. That'll do, I suppose. Ow. That was really not enough to stop that bat. D 
do want to hook up an owl statue for funsies. Never done the statue thing. Fair enough. I can't demonstrate it yet because we don't have the uh, mechanic and we can't get the mechanic. Oh my god. Oh my. Really? Uh, we can't get the mechanic until... I can't see how much time I've got left on the on fire debuff. Six seconds. We'll be fine. Uh, can't get the mechanic until I've been in the dungeon, and I can't do the dungeon without killing Skeletron. Um, I guess technically I could kill Skeletron before Reign of Cthul uh, Cthulhu. Um, it might even be easier if we've got a Grav Potion. We might even use the Grav Potion to kill the Brain of Cthulhu. That might be what we need to do. I don't think Brain of Cthulhu ever gives up if you run too far, does it? Before I do fight Brain, um, I should probably do the Eye again so I can get a better bow as well. So we can pierce all of the eyes with Jester Arrows. Let's go do that. Um, we're going to put sand in here. Make glass. I can make a magic mirror? That's so cool! Five... Why me? I think, I guess. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You will despawn if you're too far. Okay. But if I do big uh, big circles with a grav potion, it shouldn't be too difficult, right? Pretty sure I don't have enough of these bars to make a bow. We need eight. Yeah, I need to do the Eye of Cthulhu one more time. Um, I don't remember what sturdy fossil is good for. I think it only goes into a ranged set that, like, it's complete garbage. Like, the effort that you would have to go through to get this, why wouldn't you just... Like, it's not strong enough for the biome where you need to farm the items. Uh, it does make a decent staff, though, I guess. Oh, the uh, bone javelins are kind of good, actually. You can make the fossil pickaxe? 55% pickaxe power. 12 sturdy fossils. That's a lot, though. I need to farm some trees. Let's do that. The bombs you can make with sturdy fossil super useful for elevators. Oh, the, uh, the blue ones, the scarab bombs. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Before we can harvest dungeon bricks, there's no way to guard against um, the bombs that drop from trees messing up the terrain, right? Didn't get a single bomb this time. Fantastic. Uh, let's plant some trees. I might just get rid of these pots. All the ones that don't have something valuable in them. Alright, let's plant as many trees as we can fit. could actually just barely fit all of them. Do you mind? I'm trying to move, to run to the left. Just can't destroy the walls. Uh, always completely destroy the dungeon entrance place to make the fight easier. 
the Skeletron fight? Let's check on our blink root farm. I believe that is the first... Oh, it's three. You can barely see them. They do give off a tiny, and I do mean tiny bit of light. The blooming blink root. Such a pain to get going. I'm pretty sure Blinkroot used to be one of the easiest plants to get farming, but uh, not so much these days. Um, save the Scarab Bombs. I need a chest for the demo. I can have this one for now. I also need to make a home for... Uh, the Goblin Tinkerer. I don't think I've found him yet, though. I was going to put this in here. Quest. Surface Forest. Okay, so we're going to do the fishing quest over here. We're going to go make some Eye of Cthulhu summons. We're going to make some Brain of Cthulhu summons. So that we don't have to fight him on his home turf. We need 30 viscous powder. Or is that vicious powder? 15 vertebrae. How many vertebrae do I have? 25, okay. And we've got... I'll keep one of these mushrooms here so we can quick stack them. But we actually have just enough. Already. I'll just double check the recipe before we go. Yep. 30 and 15. And we have to do this at a crimson altar. So I'll be able to afford exactly, oops, I'll, I'll be able to afford exactly one summon of the Brain of Cthulhu. Um, and we could do the eye as many times as we like. Wait, what? I was literally just running? Is it because... Is it because my minion ran into it? I, we need to do the science here. I see one more explosive bunny. I'm just gonna run. It's because I had a minion out. Even though I've got the guide to critter companionship. That's... That's aggravating. It, it cost me literally no time, but I'm still... I'm still annoyed. That's like... This isn't I want to be the guy. This is the wrong game for that kind of joke. Let's go up here. I didn't even dash. That was literally just running left. Ironically, if I did dash, uh, it would have saved me. Because, for whatever reason... Uh... Well, not for whatever reason. Even though we've got the guide to critic companionship, you dash into the explosive bunny, the shield of Cthulhu deals damage to it, but it shields you from contact damage with the thing that you're hitting, which, weirdly enough, even though it's an explosion from the explosive bunny, uh, you just don't take damage from it. But yeah, literally just have a minion out and move left. Dead. Dead at town. Town is like one of the most dangerous places in a way. Uh, why don't I have umbrella? Whoops. Uh, 
Let's leave some torches behind. I could do the torch guard while I'm here. I think. Does it make any difference when we're underground? Whether it's daytime or not? For the spawn rate? In the crimson, that is. Should be the same underground. Do you mean like the same as the surface or? All right, we're gonna make some, let's say three suspicious looking eyes and that's a bloody spine. And what else was I gonna do here? That I was just talking about a second ago. this uh, gravestone marker, I guess, and wait patiently for the ghost to show up so it doesn't ambush us. I guess the ghost isn't coming. Fishing maybe? That's true, I haven't got myself a plus crit potion still. I only got a couple of uh, heart reach potions last time. Spawn rate down here though. It must be because it's night time. Oh yeah, the Torch God. I don't think now would be the best time to do it. Um, also, I've spread torches all over the place in this room, so that might not be the best idea. We need them to all be in a clump, so we can just kind of run circles around them. Alright, let's go back. What time is it? 2 a.m. I think we can handle an Eye of Cthulhu in a couple of minutes with our current gear. Probably. We've got just under two minutes. I think we'll be fine. It's rebounding the bullets back at me. It's so rude. It does hit eventually. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Where, where's it gone? So I can do that for like seven bounces, I guess? Oops, no, 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 wrong weapon. I mean, don't turn the mount off. Okay, I really can't tell when or why he hits. Uh, if I'm using the bouncy. Oh god, oh god, maybe I should have used a buff this fight. Maybe I should have reminded myself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh my... Um, okay. Even with mini shark and gold armor and decent movement, we do want to use buffs against Eye of Cthulhu, apparently. Uh, 
I'm actually really surprised by that. I'm particularly surprised by the seemingly arbitrary and random the Eye of Cthulhu managing to hit me while it's below me with the slime mount. Um, there's... I didn't see any indication of... of that being deterministic in any way. It just seemed to randomly work or not work. At first I thought from the first set that, okay, we can bounce off him a few times like that, and then it stops working. But no, on the next set, he literally just hit me the first time. Um, it, it could literally be random. Pretty sure I would have killed it if I'd used buffs, though. Rebounding the bullets was particularly rude. I can't even try again until the whole day has passed. So we're going to lose the entire rhythm of that fight. Caught in Crimson Bloody Minotaur. I don't particularly want to do that. It would be good if a meteor would show up, but I'm getting the feeling that it's just not going to happen. Where did the gravestone go? I have to kill the brain for a media to appear. Oh. I thought it was literally just break one of these and fight the goblin army. They changed it? Cringe. Hmm. Well, that changes our path. Uh, let me just check. I'm pretty sure I can't get obsidian skin armor. I could be wrong. Or rather, obsidian armor. We need a hellforge. I could go get a hellforge. I don't know if it'll allow me to pick it up with a bone pickaxe, but... Oh, we need shadow scale or equivalent. Never mind. Hellstone requires a hellforge, or the hellstone itself, we need a better pickaxe that's behind that boss. Yeah, I don't think there's a sequence we can break. I'm pretty sure I can't get better armor until until I beat the brain. We could get jungle armor. It's pretty dangerous to farm for it, but it's kind of a side grade from uh from media armor and Hellstone armor, I think. Five defense, six defense, six defense. And we get very little in by way of magic damage. 18%... Oh, 6% damage and 12% crit. That's not that bad. But more to the point, it does give us 566. Six. I don't think it gives us bonus defense, though. So it's probably about the same amount of armor as this. Used to be able to fish up that pickaxe from the ocean and go straight to molten armor, but they fixed it. Boo. Boo, and also hiss. Uh, apparently I've already placed all of these. Get your shine potion out. It's 
break those pots before a bomb comes out. After we build up there. Does Blink Root grow faster in the dark? I don't think so. I just like having separate, uh, separate farms at separate pylons. Keep things simple. Alright, let's put all this crap away. Add to our collection. Don't think we need any more lenses. Or vertebrae. Uh, are we really just waiting for night time? I really want to kill the eye again so I have a better bow for the for the brain. It's not much, but every little bit we can squeeze out is going to help. I forgot I actually consumed that uh, Spelunker potion. I can make more though. Give me some gold. Maybe not that much. Whatever, it's fine. Spelunker potion. We've actually got some platinum in here. I'll use that first. And apparently we just ran out of blink root. Oh. We've got 12 Spelunkies over here, actually. Have to use the bloody spline in the Crimson Biome? Yeah, you do. Um, we'll do that somewhere relatively flat. Maybe not here at all. Maybe over this way. Near the ocean? Try and fight it around here. I'm going to be using a grav potion anyway, but I would rather have the biome that's a bit wider over here so that we don't accidentally leave the biome and stop the fight. Maybe I should make another bloody spine. I can't really do that right now. Uh, okay. Statues in here, I guess. Study fossil. It's kind of crap. Oh yeah, I was going to take this Bolunka potion over to this desert. See if we find any... Uh, see, if we, see if we find any chests that we've already gone past. And Spelunk. That's just a pot. Alright, eyes open for chests. I'm not really interested in fighting these monsters. I want to cover as much ground as possible on one Spelunker potion. That's a heart. Don't really care. I 
think that's the first one of these that I've seen break towards me. Oh, that's the golfer. Uh, don't die. There we go. We can actually put him next to the, um, uh, next to the angler in an ocean biome. They get an ocean pylon. That's actually a pretty big get right now. The reason I came to the underground desert was because I was looking for... Oh god. Okay. Uh, was because I was looking for the magic conch. So that we could teleport to the ocean. Um, but obviously we have another way to do that now. I'll keep looking until this Spelunker potion runs out at least. Rip Golfer, he'll be back. Oh, there's a chest. Only good thing about this seed? That is a huge pile of ore? Yeah, it is. And yes, that is the only good thing about this seed. Absolutely. Would you stop? I swear, the auto-aim on this pickaxe, trying to dig up this way, it's not good. Alright, let's go in through this way. This isn't a trap, is it? I think we've already got... Oh, I was trying to pick it up. Oh no, that just, like, quadrupled the number of things in my inventory. Uh... That's... that's not helpful. Hey, we got our conch. Beautiful. That is very helpful. And that's not a chest up there. The golfer has arrived again already. Um, could you be persuaded to shoe? Shoe, I say. Um, I'll take another best statue. Leave the rope. It didn't stack this away before. Don't care about some copper. Keep the desert torches. I'll take these. I'll take the tungsten. Uh, diamond, weirdly enough, is not that valuable. Since I can reproduce them. Alright, quick stack. And... Sell this mandible blade. It's getting close to night time anyway. Mining potion. Ooh. Couple more blink root seeds. Or plus one, I guess. Wait, there's some gold I didn't pick up over here? That's weird. Blink root goes in here. Sandstone block, I think, can turn into set, uh, glass, right? Nope. It's probably crap then. Play pot, get over here. Mining potion in the piggy bank. I'm still not used to having the money trough anymore. Uh, and we did have an extractinator, so I'll sell this one. What's this? Desert fossil. Extract. Fantastic. Got a little iron ore. And that actually does quick stack in here. Straight to the ocean. Feels nice. Moon glow seed. Ten seconds and we can fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Let's put away the Spelunkies. Uh, I don't want to waste... You know what? We've got plenty of them. 
I will waste an endurance potion on the eye after that last mess. Probably not the red potion though. Is it not going to do the... The dashy dash? There we go. Where is it? I don't want to be here when it does the dash. Uh-oh. Could you be persuaded to leave me alone? No? Okay. Let's keep going fast. I guess that'll be enough. deflect some of its uh, dashes with the Shield of Cthulhu, ironically enough. And there's our second one. We'll give that to our fishing slots. And let's knock off another one while we've got our buffs up. obnoxious. The map covers it up right at the moment when I need to not shoot it because it's transforming. Oops. Where is it? I guess it probably can't reflect these arrows. Where is it? As long as I move properly, the rebound shots will never hit me. Oh, that's a lot of eyes. That's, that's a few too many. <laughs> little extra eyes. Don't want to play with those. There we go. Yeah, it's not a free boss anymore. Gotta remember that. But that should be way more than enough demonite to make everything that doesn't require, well, not demonite, crim, crimtain ore, uh, to make everything that doesn't require the tissue samples anyway. Do you allow yourself to put down best statues and heart lanterns? Uh, do you consider that arena stuff? Uh, I kind of forgot actually. I don't really consider just throwing those down to be making an arena that much but I mostly don't bother with them. Um, but I could at least put them down for 
my main base, I suppose. Where is our shop? Don't sell... Actually, probably could sell the Shield of Cthulhu. No, I want one for each loadout, so we can always dash. And then we'll drop these. That's a pet, isn't it? Yep. It's not a light pet, is it? No, I don't think so. Give me all the fireflies, as if I'll ever run out of enchanted worms. Maybe I'll dot some moon glow around as a natural light source at night, instead of, like, torches on the trees. Looks kind of nice. I don't want to fight the brain of Cthulhu at night. Also, I need to make that bow. Let's go. We've got... 20 range damage as opposed to 10. Wow. That's a pretty big upgrade, actually. And we got Demonic on the first try. So... 23 damage, 16 crit, as opposed to 10 and 11. And it actually has some knockback as opposed to zero. That's a pretty big improvement. That'll be for when we use Jester Arrows and pierce all the little eyes at the start of the fight. Only a couple of minutes until daytime. Uh, let's get rid of the old tungsten bow. And make a bunch more jester arrows. Just in case. I really wish I'd known that I could craft a magic mirror. Um, arrows. Jester's arrows. Here we go. 708, I imagine that's enough. And 4.6k tungsten bullets is still quite a lot. Especially Mini Shark doesn't fire that fast. Oh, I saw that. I didn't see it in time to react to it, but I was thankfully not on the ground this time. Uh, inventory management, the worst part about Terraria? Yeah, I can agree with that. Alright. So how prepared can we be? Pretty much no more prepared at all. Uh, except for having more potions. We've got regen, iron skin, endurance. I could go crimson fishing and get plus 10 crit, but that's not that big of a deal. Uh, Swiftness, Shine... Grav Potion... I should probably make sure I have a Featherfall Potion so I don't accidentally kill myself with the Grav Potion. A Goblin Army is approaching. This is not the best time. I will admit. There's still a zombie here. Let's, uh, let's turn off my summon for a sec. And I'll drop some explosive bunnies around the place. And that should at least take a little chunk out of the goblin army. Oh, I want, um, I can't buy any spiky balls, because we still haven't found, uh, the Tinkerer. I probably went far enough away from the bunny on the right that it's disappeared.
All right. Well, in any case, we're going to start with the Jester's Arrows. It's actually looking ridiculously effective. Let me get rid of this little bit of terrain. Oh, it doesn't have infinite piercing. Oh, no, it does. I think it has infinite piercing, but finite range. Oh. I need to stop walking into warriors while I'm watching where the arrows are going. But other than that, this is pretty effective. Uh, really? Oh, and you know what else is effective against goblins? It is spiky balls. Oops. It's actually only a third of the army gone already. I don't know what those uh, magic projectiles are hitting that makes them explode when they reach the ground there. Drink a health potion. Give it some more spikies. that hit. defeated. Fantastic. So DF will release in five hours on Steam? Hog? Very excited about this. I hope the new uh, UI is as... Well, I just hope it meets certain minimum standards. Let's put it that way. Kind of forgot to turn back my f turn back on my flink stuff there. Goblin peon. I can go there, I guess. All right. Uh, I think we're about as ready as we can be without lots more fishing to fight the brain. We've oh, we need a um. We don't strictly need it, but I would feel a lot more comfortable with a Featherfall Potion. If we're going to do the grav thing. Since we don't have wings or a horseshoe. I could also try fishing up wings or a horseshoe. It's going to take a while, though.
not the amount of items, it's the limited way of handling them. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the sheer number of items and the way they work by stacks instead of, like, weight, like in Skyrim or something. If it was mass and or volume, maybe it would be less obnoxious. I don't know. Volume wouldn't work so well when you keep picking up stone or something. I don't think I want the game to be realistic in that respect. I'd much rather have it more playable. Can't even see what I'm shooting. I guess I'll just leave it to my minion. Ouch. Can we get a feather, please? Yes, finally. I think that might be another one. No, that's a bit of gel. Alright, we finally got one feather. Let's get ourselves another featherfall potion. And once again, that'll be our last blink route. Alright, so grab Featherfall, Regen, Iron Skin, Endurance, Food, Swift, Shine. Sailfish, Shield. I don't think the Frog Leg is going to help us if we're doing the Grav style. Uh, we don't really need a pair of Double Jumps. I don't think. So give us back a little bit more speed slash acceleration. And by a little, I actually mean a lot. And I think that's close to as prepared as we can be. Equipment and blocks should have been two different categories. Maybe. Maybe. You do get a few extra slots uh, with loadouts, potentially. Okay. I'm glad the face monster can't get up there. Oh, I should get a calming potion. But I think I used up all the damselfish. Yeah, I think the calming potions are gone. Alright, well, I'm not farming for them again. Let's just get the fight started, like, straight away. For the enemies, fill the area up. Yeah, he literally just spawns in front of me there. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. Where is he? You're joking! He already despawned. Well, that was a waste of time and resources. Now I'm going to need a whole lot of vertebrae and mushrooms uh, from the crimson all over again just for the privilege of trying again. And this time I guess we have to stay pretty damn close to the ground. I can't believe how quickly he despawned. That literally, like, just, just up here... That's not even 
It's like one screen off the ground. So we need like 30 of the things that come from vicious mushrooms, and I think they make five each, so that won't be a problem at least. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to get to a crimson altar down this way. Oh, I know what I want to do actually. Ow, ow, no, no, no. While we're here... Let's do the torch card in the open space. Hopefully while we still have these buffs, our grav potion is going to be well and truly gone. Uh, give me back my triple jump. Well, I don't think... Uh, I don't think having another Grav Potion is going to help that much. Featherfall, so that we can stay in the air better, is going to be good. But, like, it's so easy to go too high with the Grav uh, Potion to despawn the boss that I think it would be better just not to have one. Besides which, we have to go searching for it, or fishing. Uh, it's a lot of time to get a grav potion uh, randomly before we have the fire blossom that we can farm. Unless I got some fire blossom seeds that I don't remember having out of a random herb bag. So what I'm trying to do here is set up 101, I think it is, torches. Not sure how many we've got, but a solid block of them about this big or a little bit smaller is enough. Oh, here we go. Now we just need to, for the most part, go around in circles. Featherfall is actually really helping here. I can not only stay in the air longer, but I can control my descent speed. Uh, we can't afford too many mistakes though, and I can't get high enough to actually go in circles. But uh, we should be almost halfway done already. Now. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Nope. Ow. Did we do it? Fantastic. Touch God's favor. And now we automate it, uh, automatically place biome torches. And we've got a nice, relatively easy to access uh, set of crimson altars where we can teleport to. Now then. I think I just need a workbench to make the viscous or viscous powder. Apparently not. Do we make it here? That should be enough. And we need more vertebrae. What's the advantage of biome torches? Uh, they give you a luck boost, not to mention the aesthetic of it is sometimes nice. If your biome torches are for the appropriate biome, you get a little luck boost. How many vertebrae do we need? For the brain? 15, I think, or is it 30? It's 15. So if I find, uh, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4 more mushrooms, I can do 
two whole attempts at the brain of conf uh, the brain of confusion. Yes, this is a very confusing brain indeed. It just disappears if we go above like seventeen tiles of altitude. and completely wastes all of our preparation and potions. Could you stop? I'm not interested right now. Take me off your list. That's pretty much the edge of the crimson as well. I don't think we're going to find any more mushrooms here. Yeah, so uh, so now all of my torches... I can turn it on and off, but by default, uh, when I place regular torches, they place based on the biome that I'm in. Which looks kind of nice. At least Featherfall lasts a while. I should really start, like, using Featherfall basically all the time. Because some boss fights, I know for a fact that having Featherfall would be theoretically, objectively better, but I don't take it because I'm not used to holding down in order to fall quickly. If I could use it basically all the time, that would solve the problem. Alright. Apparently I can't hit him at this angle. Let's get another bloody spine. What time is it? 10.40pm. That's cool, I didn't know about the luck boost. Thank you, you're welcome. I mean, it's not exactly, uh... The game doesn't exactly tell you. We've still got functionally infinite ammo. Um, do we have a fishing spot over here? Sort of. I don't know if this would be 300 tiles. The water under the overhang, I'm pretty sure, doesn't count. If I explode... Th could Stop it. Stop it. Uh, if I explode this bit... We've got a night. I think here would be a better fishing spot. If I just bomb through this little bit or something. Um, the enemies are going to have a much harder time coming to harass me. And I can just dig this out to make a bigger water area. And we can go fish up our 10% crit. Speaking of fishing, caught in caverns. Uh, this is still technically the underground. Oh yeah, I forgot. I wanted to make a cavern pylon and move these guys so that I can have a glowing mushroom pylon to go straight to the, uh, straight to the dungeon. This does count as the caverns. Alright, give me some fishing... Power, go away, bat. Why can't I throw the fishing rod from here? Bomb fish. Black slime. By the way, uh, I believe it's 10 minutes. There's actually a limit to how long you'll stay stuck on with the grappling hook. So don't leave the game running and walk away if you're hooked above lava or something. Uh oh, that's a bat. That is a bat. A 
Luck is crit chance? Uh, I don't believe it is, no. Crit chance is just crit chance. I actually tried um, drinking a luck potion and comparing my DPS uh, with a decent sample size. I'm pretty sure it has no effect. But if you want to, if you want to know how luck changes things, I would recommend watching a video where someone modded Terraria to basically give themselves an absurdly high luck stat. Uh, and in some ways, it actually made the game almost unplayable because they couldn't get basic items out of uh, pots, for example. Like it, every single pot would give. I think it's 10 gold or 5 gold that you get from a gold portal, um, which is quite rare. So you've got infinite money, but that isn't as good as it sounds when money can't buy everything and you can't get certain items that are very helpful. Um, you will be getting a slime stuff very, very quickly if you play like that. Oops. Did we still not get the quest fish? Come on, quest fish. This game is too deep. <laughs> yeah, it is. You could literally spend, like, I don't know. Depends on how voracious of a reader you are, but like, you could literally spend, like, weeks just reading the wiki, I imagine. He did say caverns, right? I've only got less than a minute to get the fish. The Terraria Iceberg, indeed. I don't mind that meme format, but my god, it exploded out of nowhere and then disappeared just as quickly. Like, even more so than a meme normally does. We got it! Oh, oh my god, I have like 10 seconds. Okay. Yeah, I'm not reaching for the magic mirror in that situation. We had 7 seconds left there. And we got the golden bug net. That's nice. Uh, we actually skipped over the, the lava bug net. Because I can't get hellstone bars yet. But I could go downstairs and get some lava critters and do some lava fishing because I've got the golden bug net. That, that's how it is this time. Do not sell the golden bug net, that would be bad. You only get five gold for it. <laughs> that is definitely not enough. Okay. And I'll keep the mushroom grass seeds. Those can be a pain to find when we need them. What kind of chests are those? Uh, these ones here? Glass chests. You can make them with glass, a glass forge, and I think some iron. Here it is. Because chests are so rare on this seed, and I wanted some nice looking ones, um, and these are pretty accessible for some early game nice looking ones, I went with these. Literally never knew those existed and played since 2011, indeed. Um, I'll keep the web rope. Crimson Torch can get out of here, probably. Like, I can always just use regular torches as biome torches, so I don't want the extra different stacks taking up room in my inventory. 
Uh, let's go fish up some... Some plus 10% crit. And hopefully not get three Crimson Tigerfish instead this time. Okay, so I want to dig through... How about here? I think this would be the best path whereby... The monsters can't, um... I only brought five bombs. I hope it's enough. I have my doubts. Oh, it is. And torch. And we'll dig a path, like, this way. That should be the hardest for the monsters to find their way to where we are. more water. I should be careful. There could be traps or... There shouldn't be traps as I'm digging through these blocks but there could be like a pot that drops a bomb or something. Or there could be a random monster. Just hypothetically for example. really like to get the Tri Boomerang while it's still actually good. Um, I think the only one I have left to get is... Uh, there's a Traveling Merchant. Is the Flaming one. I need Hellstone for that though. So I do need to beat the Brain so that I can go get Hellstone. Because we can't skip the Crimson Pickaxe. Alright, that should give us all of the fishing power. Let's get our fishing gear on. I think you only need enchanted, ice, and shroom to make it. Oh, I forgot about shroom. I thought it was, um... I kind of, I kind of sort of assumed it was like assumed slash remembered poorly that it was ice uh, enchanted and hellstone I I'll check with the guide once I get back this is probably the coziest evil biome fishing spot I've ever had Crimson Tigerfish, that's the one we don't really need. Gives us Heart Reach Potions, which they're not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but they're kind of optional. Especially most boss fights, they don't accomplish anything. Because we don't have small things dying and dropping hearts. I guess we can always use them for seafood dinner. Oh, we got the quest fish without even asking for the quest. I haven't got a single... I can't remember the name of it. It looks very similar to the Crimson Tigerfish to give us our plus 10 crit. I swear it's a lot easier to fish up Ebon Koi for the plus 10% damage. Speaking of which, um, can I make a artificial corruption biome before hard mode? I think we have to talk to the dryad at night, possibly a crimson moon, in a graveyard. 
and she'll sell Chemoprana. That's the type of fish we're looking for. Uh, and she'll sell the opposite evil biome seeds. So, so far we only got one Hemo Piranha. Uh, I'd definitely like to have at least a couple. There we go. And then drop the rope, I guess. Open. Crates. Nothing too exciting. Don't see how it would be at this point. Let's make our uh, rage potions. Four minutes, 10% crit. Enough for a boss fight anyway. May as well make the heart reach potions. I forgot that using them for food was an option, but I think uh, stink fish and specular fish, for example, are much better candidates for that. And we don't want to make it out of Armored Cave Fish. No, no, no. I don't want to spend all of my Armored Cave Fish before we get the uh, Alchemy Table. But I do want to have more than one. No Chenkopf. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we're out of Blink Root. Uh, here's one Blink Root. I could harvest these other ones, but I wouldn't get seeds back. Whoops. Whoops. Alright, Endurance Potion. Let's re-up our Regen Iron Skin. And shine. Uh, we're gonna have. I guess we're not gonna have grav. Heart reach is actually very good for this boss fight because we've got little things that die. Oh, and I need to hand this in. Angler Vest, fantastic. Plus five fishing power. That just leaves the pants. Okay. So we've got crit, damage reduction, iron skin regen, a bit of light, red potion, swiftness. Food. Uh, sell the Zephyr fish. Don't really care about the pet. Uh, I think we're about as ready as we can be. Do I want to do it at 3.30 p.m.? Yeah, probably. First, let's harvest... Our water leaf. And replant. Oh, I almost forgot. I want a featherfall potion. Which might be a bit of a pain. Uh, to get to drop the feathers, that is. Oh, 
Last I checked, I couldn't get harpies to spawn up at this uh, floating island unless I deliberately jump higher. Which makes it an incredibly good fishing spot. I kind of want to test it out. It's flying fish time. Oh yeah, damselfish. Then we can have a calming potion. Perfect. Harpy hopefully hasn't despawned. Here it comes. Hey, we got our feather. Alright, I think we need more blink root though. Please be flashing. There we go. And this time we got three seeds. Beautiful. Alright, featherfall potion. A uh, calming potion. Since we're not going to be able to stay in the sky to avoid the spawns. And let the poor little grasshopper go. Alright. Here we go again. Spilling sauce all over my new suit the moment I drink my buff potions. That thing comes out of nowhere. Where would be the best spot to start the fight? Maybe on the top of this thing? Since the fewest enemies will be able to climb up here. I foresee problems no matter how I go about it. Oh, good, I can't see the enemy. Maybe it's not a wise idea to do this at night. Oh, well. Where's the brain? Okay, this might... No, 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 please don't despawn. I'm so sorry I used that mount. And, okay, now it just... Oh, 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 oh really? I bounce up here, I'm scared it's going to despawn, I, you know, deliberately fall down here a little bit faster, then it just teleports right on top of me, and the fight's over. And we have to farm again to get ready for it. <sighs> I didn't even want to, like, bounce off of the eyes over here. I just wanted to get over it like this, and maybe start going in circles or something. But I touched one of the eyes, bounced up here, was terrified it was going to despawn because this is all it took last time. And then literally two seconds later, oh, it's on top of me and there's nothing I can do about it except end the fight. You gonna do the Blood Moon fishing bosses? Yeah, I always do. They're not difficult if you're ready. Alright, um... So the only thing I'm missing right now is Featherfall. I would just start the fight again, except... I don't have a summon. I think I can make another summon already, though. Just barely. Well, not quite, just barely. Checked wiki, there should be 0 to 15% damage boost with max luck. 
So with typical setup, it would be less than 5%. Not very noticeable. Fair enough. Um, it might be easier to farm feathers while I've still got the Featherfall Potion active. And while it's night time, the spawn rate's going to be a lot higher. And they'll occasionally die to falling stars, and we'll farm a few falling stars. Oh, that's a glow stick. That's why it's got such a big light source. That pet makes me think of flying fish as chasing me. You can actually go kind of high right now. We're not getting any harpies spawning though. Oh, there's one. Even though I have uh, Featherfall, I don't have any wings. I just instinctively tried to slow my descent by holding space. Maybe I should try to fish up some wings and balloon. I doubt it's possible, though. If they've locked... Uh... If they've locked the sky chests with, um, with dungeon keys, I'd be surprised if it's possible to fish up those items before beating Skeletron. There's a feather. And two, actually. Well, we've got half a knight to kill. May as well fish. Does our minion just not feel like doing the work right now? I did do the fishing quest for today already, right? Should probably be using a crate potion and fishing potion up here if I'm gonna look for the crate. Let's do it. No quest. Fishing, sonar, and great potion. I don't know why these are separated, actually. gear. I could skip things that I don't want to pick up, but it takes just as long for a second item to come by. And we've got plenty of bait.
Good minion. It was the jellyfish? Uh, what was the jellyfish? I'm just gonna go till we run out of this, uh, crate potion. Fishing quest item you did for today. Oh yeah, the uh, crimson one. Yeah, I thought it was. Getting a bunch of wooden crates and not much else. Hey, we can get sky crates. There's like a one in three or something chance that that has wings. <gasps> Two sky crates in a row? That's pretty improbable. Look at the little mini zombie on the left here. Oh, it's a demon eye. Doing its little bathing dance. One more minute. It's a little bit of a uh, waste of fishing and sonar potions, but those are common. If I don't use another crate potion. Maybe I should open them here and see what we've got. And maybe I'll drink another crate. Oh, they're in my money trough, right? Uh, yes, they are. Ten seconds left. Okay, what do we get? You've got to be joking. We got double star fury. Welp. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that here. Let me go drop off my stuff, and I'll come back and pick the rest of that up. Extra climbing claws, don't really care. Star Fury at least is a pretty big upgrade for our melee. Um, this one's strictly better. Oh, I didn't realize it swung this fast. Yeah, that's actually a huge upgrade. Tana away somewhere. I'll probably end up just selling it into the sword collection with you. Uh, and let's find our way back. Pick up that stuff. Maybe make most of the last few minutes of this fishing potion. At least we can get... Uh, Sky Island stuff before killing Skeletron. In which case, I would really like to find wings. Alright, we actually have a little bit of room. Love is in the trash slot. Left in my inventory. Great potion, go. 
Actually, let me get all of this out of the way. Oh, since when is Crate Potion four minutes? Huh. That's nice. The fishing uh, fishing quest item you did for today. Yes, yes, yes. I forgot I read that, sorry. Really, I should just stay here until I have wings and balloon. So I can be ready perfectly. I kind of want to peek at what's in this crate. Not gonna lie. We got lucky horseshoe. Well, at least that's something to prevent fall damage. Wings would obviously be strictly better. fishing potions back. I don't know if when you have a crate potion, I'm not exactly sure how fishing power interacts with it, actually. I'm guessing having both at the same time is better. Hey, balloon puffer fish. We can combine that with our tsunami in a bottle. We at least have some form of bigger regular jump. Fishing up nothing but bass and damselfish. Terraria music is so peaceful. It's got some really good music. I love it. Absolutely. Enix Steamain. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Drop the bass. I can always at least sell it or something. Adds up a little bit. Can't quite see how much time we have left on our buffs here. play Factorio today? Uh, no, not today. That'll be in, what is it, one, two, three, four days, I think? We just finished our three days in a row that we do every week. 
I love Factorio, and that is one reason I do not want to get burnt out on it. Yeah, are we done with our buffs? I've gone through the crate potion. I don't really want to go through another four minutes. Let's uh, let's go fight something. And open all of this. Quick stack. Uh, grab our tsunami in a bottle. Oh, I can't combine them yet. Oh, I keep forgetting. We still don't have the goblin tinkerer for some reason. I guess I could make a hunter potion and go looking for him. might be a good idea. Could make an obsidian horseshoe. I may as well. Whoops. I didn't know F4 was camera mode. Today I learned. Oh, I can't... I, I uh, Again, I keep forgetting. I can't combine these things yet. Victoria Prince doesn't exist anymore, so your link in the info cards is broken. Wow. That's rough. Uh, I'll have to fix that. We do have a bunch of... Uh, we do have a bunch of blueprints in the Discord. That's probably not going away anytime soon. Probably. Wait, where did my tsunami in a bottle go? Oh, we have spares. I should give it to the fishing loadout. Instead of this goofy thing. Okay. I'd rather try one more time to fight the brain before we go looking for the tinkerer again. So we need a Featherfall, arguably. We need some Blink Root. There's never enough Blink Root. Luckily there's at least one plant blooming at the moment. Oops. So we can make an entire Featherfall potion. And we need... I don't know why I have 14 vertebrae here right now. There we go. Need to go make another summon. We can change the domain name to factorio.school. They migrated. Oh yeah, I remember someone mentioned that. So it looks to someone who doesn't know that that it's just gone. They didn't leave like a message or something. Down we go. Oh, here's what I'm looking for. Crimson Altar. Pardon me. Domains cost money, and I think they didn't want to pay for multiple. Yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. Oh, bloody hell. This thing has camouflage. Now I'm half dead for no reason. At least we've got Star Fury. Twice. Like the four times in a row I got it last playthrough. That is uncomfortably not almost having enough uh, knockback. What time is it? It's almost night time. 
I really shouldn't try to fight it at night. Which means we should find something else to do. We'll hold on to this. We'll grab ourselves a Spelunker potion. Oh, no, I need a Hunter potion, which is going to cost one of our precious shark fins. And a precious uh, blink root as well. Let's watch out for the super scary bunnies. You know, maybe I should try looking in the jungle for... What's that thing? Uh... It lets you harvest, like, more stuff. But you can turn it into an axe now that works with trees as well. What was I going to make? With our precious blink root? Oh yeah, a hunter potion. Because we need to look for the goblin. Alright. And I'm not exactly sure how deep we need to be to find him. I went out of my way to find him uh, last last uh, Terraria stream. No luck. I could also try digging through here. We can at least see the enemies coming. Oh, that's lava. I haven't actually looked over this way yet. The more ground we can cover, the faster we're likely to find the Goblin Tinkerer. Uh, is this a trap? Doesn't look like it. Well, nothing new this time. Oh, 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 that's a stylist. Let's try and get her. This skeleton has way too many hit points for my liking. And this spider has way too much spider for my liking. Especially the spawn rate of these things is pretty nasty. At least we can hold them back with the mini shark. Pretty easily, actually. Alright, we got the stylist at least. Um... I think I'll go with... Ooh, Depth Hair Dye. I was gonna go with the life, life Hair Dye, but I've never tried this one before. That's kind of neat. I mean, I know we've got the Depth Meter, but still. Um... That was probably a poor decision. Alright, back to looking for NPCs. Maybe digging down a bit further. Spooky jungle. Uh, where's the middle again? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Don't die to a bat. Don't die to a bat. Fantastic. It's about time. Okay. We got the two main things from him, even if he dies. He'll just come back if he does. Uh, and now I need to make a home for him in the snow biome. 
I kind of prefer to give him an underground home. So we can teleport there to do underground snow biome fishing. But I don't feel like doing it right this instant. Let's just start combining some stuff. Uh, like our balloon puffer fish. Actually, I'll keep the armored version of this. Combine it with the jagged chakron balloon. And we get armored anyway. Fantastic. So now our first jump is bigger. One, two, three. We can jump just high enough to take damage, but wait, there's more. We've got rocket boots. We can combine them with sailfish boots to make spectra boots. And we can combine those with... We actually need a anklet of the wind. The fairy boots and hellfire treads don't actually do anything uh, useful. They add a cosmetic effect. And you can do these things. Oh, I don't know about the flowers, uh, the grass growing. Flowers growing on the grass, but the uh, hellfire treads at least you can accomplish with just a vanity accessory slot. Um, but regardless... We do have Spectra Boots, at least. Really makes me want to go looking for the Anklet of the Wind. Except the jungle is terrifying, and the rate of finding chests in this seed is horrific. But on the other hand, we would have a bunch of movement speed. I could already combine it with the ice skates as well. So next time I go back... Oh, I do have a house for him already. That's good. Which means I can reforge. Uh, yeah, I can make frost spark boots. We've got everything except for lava waders and obsidian rows, I think. Um, to make the Terra Spark Boots. Rod of Discord? Chisel? What? Can you make Spelunker potions? I can, yes. Caught in jungle. Mudfish. Let's do that real quick. Since we can do it just like this. Trust that bat. Should hurry up and harvest these as well. And replant. fish. I've only got a couple of minutes to finish the quest. There goes our hunter. There we go. Nothing new or exciting this time. It's fine. Drop the silt into the extractinator. And Dion Tetra's going here. Um, I think I'll put the 
armored tsunami in a bottle over here. Come to think of it, can't I combine the chakron with the... Yeah, the horseshoe. Perfect. Please give me plus three armor again. Nope. Could be pretty cheap to re-roll, actually. It's only five gold each time. More or less. I want... Oh, warding. Perfect. I should probably re-roll everything to warding at this point. Can we afford it? I don't love the idea of spending too much to reforge the Spectra Boots when we're gonna uh, upgrade them, but I guess I'll stick with Menacing, that's fine. Hasty, Shield of Cthulhu. Give us warding, please. Give us warding, please. Menacing? It's really defense that we need at this stage. Although I probably should have kept them. Well, I'll do it this time. We'll put the menacing in another slot and re roll this one. Armored? I could live with that. And... Armored seems good. Warding, please. This one's quite cheap to re-roll, so I should just keep going. Fantastic. And do I want to stick with the triple jump? Probably. This one's quite cheap to re-roll as well. Armored? That's fine. Alright, so we got plus 4% damage, the rest are plus defense, 3 or 4 each. And we've gone from 20 to 35 defense. Um, yeah, that's going to help a little bit. This is getting a bit full, mostly because it's got some crap in it. That I was temporarily throwing in there. Let's just throw this in here. Sell the spare. Keep the dynamite. How many grins have I got? 911. That'll do. What time is it? Early in the morning? We got port in surface and underground. I could do that whenever. I've actually only got a couple of bait left. Well, for this type of bait, we've saved up a bunch from the fishing quests. The party girl has arrived. I didn't know she could show up this early, and I guess this is... yeah. I'd forgotten that I had the spare houses for her. Well, nothing too exciting there, that's fine. Um, okay, so we have Endurance Rage, Heart Reach, Defense Regen, Swiftness Shine, Food. We've got plus defense on almost everything. We've got Spectra Boots. Uh, practically infinite Chester Arrows. Practically infinite Tungsten Bullets. Bloody Spine. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Let's try again. Here we go. Okay, 
So it looks like it just fades in and teleports at regular int- Oh god, I'm confused. As in my inputs are backward. It teleports at regular intervals, but where and why... I have no idea. I don't like the movement pattern of these things. I tried to anticipate the- oh my god. <sighs> I tried to anticipate the teleport, and it just teleported on top of me. What am I supposed to do? I could have, uh, used a recall potion to get out of that, but if the boss fight's over anyway, what's the point? I did get a few tissue samples, which is the main reason to fight this thing, but, um... But actually... <laughs> If I really wanted to, I could leave it at that. We've got just enough tissue samples. There might be a couple on the ground here still. Uh, we did get just enough tissue samples to get the pickaxe. And we could just not fight this thing anymore. Uh, but someone who knows this boss, tell me, like... Honestly, I know he's about to teleport. I decide I should move. And he just teleports on my face anyway. What what the hell am I supposed to do with that? How am I supposed to know where he's going? I would love to know. Um, we got a dull Deathbringer pickaxe. Which in and of itself is pretty funny. But... I'll obviously reforge that. Tiny, bulky, zealous. I want fast and big. Large. It's cheap to re-roll this. Let's keep going. We'll be stuck with it for a little while. Legendary. Okay, then. Never played the seed, so no idea. Is it different from the regular Brain of Cthulhu, though? The way it just... Does it teleport arbitrarily? Is there some pattern to where it decides to go? Is there anything other than luck for me to avoid it tele uh, teleporting onto my face? I would hope so. We're never going to get the... Um, media armor if we don't kill the brain but i can actually skip I, I can actually get molten armor now might be an above ground thing no it that's how it killed us before it literally just i would see the eyes coming and i'd dash one way and it teleported like exactly where i was going um and i was just dead unless i was gonna teleport out, which would waste the opportunity for the boss fight. I mean, you would do that in hardcore, but there isn't really much point. Um, except for practice for hardcore, I guess. To do it in a normal mode. Wow. We did get zero rubies out of our ruby tree. The RNG gods are smiling. Unfortunately, it's a malicious smile. Yeah, I thought I had him that time as well, and then he just literally... Oop, popped right onto exactly where I already was. Even though I anticipated... Uh, I mean, it's... There isn't exactly a tell so much as he just fades out. Um, it's kind of slow. I could see that he was teleporting, and I decided to go somewhere because of that, and he just teleported on my face. Am I supposed to hold position while he teleports? That's pretty obnoxious. So I need to, like, 
If that's the case, I need to dodge the eyes for a bit and then try and like create some distance so I can wait in approximately the same spot while he teleports. What about grenades or are they for something else? Well, damage isn't my problem. Um, I'm using Jester Arrows to kill all the eyes because it pierces... It's got limited range, but I'm pretty sure it pierces a infinite number of enemies. Um, and they're really quite cheap. It's like 10 arrows for one fallen star. Um, but damage isn't the problem. The problem is... I can't live long enough to deal the damage because after one or two or three iterations he just teleports directly on top of me. Uh, and there's literally nothing I can do from that point. Except for teleport home and waste the boss fight. Heart lanterns? That's not going to cut it. I, I get comboed to death if he teleports on top of me. No matter how many hit points I had, it wouldn't be enough. Or how quickly I regen. Well, okay, if I had enough... If I had the sort of armor and hit points to fight the Moon Lord, that'd obviously be a different story. Um, but we don't. Let me just put this here so we can quick stack it. Like yeah, I could have I could put down a heart lantern and a bast statue and campfire and so on. Um, it would just make me lose a bit slower, unless I can avoid him just popping directly on top of me from literally out of nowhere. Let me get rid of this for now. That should be enough ladybugs for the foreseeable future. Um, but yeah, let's go down and get ourselves some hellstone. We'll get some hellstone armor and we'll have a lot more defense. Maybe even enough to just brute force the the eye, or the brain rather. We can catch this in underground. What was I looking for? Spelunko. Danger sense. We don't really need the spelunko for this. Also, let's, uh, let's put something pretty and functional up here. Fantastic. And I kind of want penguin over here. Seagull would go here, I guess. Alright, let's go get some Hellstone and we'll go from there. Right after I do this fishing quest, just because it should take like two seconds. Hello, fairy. That's our fishing quest done. What's it trying to show us, I wonder?
We may never know. Got fish. And we get the Duke. Uh, where am I going to put this? Up here. Quick stack. Down we go. As is light. And we're going to go somewhere kind of dangerous. Let's do regen iron skin. Surprisingly managing to have... Oh, here we go. Do I have a mining potion? Yeah, I do. That's a little bit better. Oh. Do I have an obsidian skin potion? Yes, I do. It's going to make it a lot easier. Fortunately, you can't actually drown in lava. Let's not break the rail. Oh, we got the mining shirt and the mining pants now. I could technically switch to those and dig even faster, although we'd be a bit more vulnerable, to say the least. 16 defense as opposed to like 35 or... 43, actually. But look at that extra digging speed. If I ever find the chisel, I should put it on this, uh, this one as well. Hey, we're already down here. I don't need to worry about obsidian thingamajig so that the fire blocks don't hurt us because we've already got an obsidian skin potion active. Uh, I guess we're gonna be... uh oh. I guess we're gonna be leaving a lot of explo uh, exploded houses behind us down here on this seed. We've still got five minutes left on our obsidian skin potion, and come to think of it, I really want to use that for mining hellstone. And the easiest way to do that is to just get into the lava with the obsidian skin uh, potion. By far the most time efficient method. We need about three or four hundred hellstone ore, I think, to get everything we could ever ask for. Uh, that requires hellstone. Really doesn't take that long. Especially since most of the enemies can't reach us while we're doing this. Now. I think this might actually be my strategy playing hardcore in future. Just kill the Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu just enough to drop six uh, tissue, uh, tissue samples or shadow scales. Make the pickaxe and then come down here to get the strongest armor in pre-hard mode. By strongest I mean most defense. We're already up to 220 Hellstone. Uh, it seems like on this seed, just like with other ores, it's really, really, really easy to find big chunks of Hellstone. So this is going even faster than usual, which is good because I only had half a potion left. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Since when does ash fall like this? It's not all silt, is it? I think it's ash. Well, I guess that's one hazard that exists now. Other than losing track of time and immediately dying to lava. Probably got about a minute and a half left. Yeah, I don't understand when or why the ash blocks fall. Luckily, we've got enough to defense to somewhat ignore it, the damage. Not to mention some uh, regen. We're already up to 440 ore. 45 seconds left. It seems to fall in groups. 30 seconds. Yeah, like, like it has a certain structural integrity and then it collapses. I can get a little bit more, I think. 10 seconds. Right. Okay, quick stack. Replace our forge with Hellstone Forge. Uh, I forgot to do the fishing quest, it's fine. Oh, no, I already did it. 518 Hellstone. We need more Obsidian if we want to make... Oh, wait, it's 3 to 1, isn't it? Yeah, we can use all of the Obsidian here. Or all of the Hellstone. And then... We'll grab Molten Helmet... Molten Breastplate, Molten Greaves, I'm actually not a big fan of the Molten Pickaxe because it's slow. Imp Staff is a arguably the best summon free hard mode, arguably. Depends what you value. Molten Fury for 32 damage, and it lights wooden arrows on fire. And we got Ruthless. Uh, that's pretty good. Volcano is kind of slow. Does hit very hard, though. Can we get the Leaf Blade in pre hard mode? Because that's actually insane now, right? Don't really want to go to the jump. Then again, we're going to be significantly stronger now. I think I will go for that sword. Silk blocks, get out of here. Hey, we got a ruby back. And a single potion of return so far. A couple of magic power potions. I guess I'll put you in here. Why is Shiverthorn Seed in here? Uh, we can definitely sell these two. I kind of want to keep the Flink stuff. And I definitely want to get the most damage I can out of my Imp stuff. Celestial.
deadly. It's pretty cheap to re-roll this. Masterful? Perfect. Let's have our imp. Which also has a shot that does infinite piercing. That'll be pretty good against that first section of the Brain of Cthulhu. Assuming that it hits something. Um... Let's sell this old thing. What? Go in surface forest. Okay, then. Need to put this stuff away. Mission of return, I guess, can go in here. Hellfire arrows, don't really care. Sort this later. Ash blocks on the off chance that I ever want to build with them. Go in here. Okay, so we're up to 49 defense. And we've got a lot more damage. And I still haven't... Uh, I guess we can't get into any of the shadow chests. From pots, we can get some things down here that were, uh, are kind of hard to get, relatively. Grav potions, potion of return, and so on, but I don't think we really need to worry. Yeah, uh, that is a whole upgrade. I still have green hair when I'm up on the surface. Alright, I'm going to take a short break. After that, we're going to try again with the Brain of Cthulhu, I think. Or at least go through the steps so that we can try yet again. Uh, for now, let me throw up some words on the string. And I desperately need a cold drink because it is hot today. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Hopefully he won't be dying of heat stroke today. Um looks like words on stream is a bit of a bust. It usually is on my non-factorio streams. That's fine. Alright, let's go get ourselves uh even more vertebrae's vertebras. And I think I need the mushrooms as well. So that we can try again. Uh, versus the Brain of Cthulhu. Let's see how much damage he does. 82. I think it was 100 before. Considering my max health is 400, that's a pretty big deal. I might actually try the... Um, uh, the big sword that I said, it's good, but it's really slow. Keen Volcano? Sure. I'm not going to try too hard with this one. It should have a lot of knockback. Why is my mouse sensitivity down? There we go. Strong knockback. Oh, wow. Yep. That hits pretty hard. Uh, I feel like the 48 melee damage is a little bit misleading somehow. Because I'm seeing much larger numbers. Oh, we got a banner. Sure. Oh, and we did get some more tissue samples. So we were actually sort of getting pretty close to beating the brain. Because if we can just get past that first phase, it's basically free. Uh, if we have a mini shark. But yeah, based on how many tissue samples we got here, I would say it should be pretty easy. To just kill a few eyeballs and then bail on the fight. And skip it. If we're playing hardcore. And if we're thinking of speedrunning strats, uh, obviously it's faster if we don't actually fight it very much at all. We just grab, grab our six tissue samples, get the hell out of there. And if we really want to kill the brain, we can come back when it's easy. Um, it should be a lot easier with the molten armor, though. Not that much easier, but uh, significantly, especially since we've got more damage as well. I didn't keep track of how many vertebrae we need. I think it's like 15. Or is it 15 total? Uh, we'll grab like four more and then I'll go back and check. How did that not hit? Oh yeah, and I wanted to check the... Uh the recipe with the boomerangs as well, although they probably won't be relevant anymore. Then again, tossing three boomerangs, um, you can basically spam them at short range. Let's just check it now. Mr. Guide, what kind of boomerangs do I need? Shroomerang, okay. So this one's luck based, this one's luck based, this one's very easy to obtain. But you could theoretically get this very early. Or well, pretty early. We need, I think, one more vertebrae. It's probably going to be bottlenecked on mushrooms. Uh, 
that's just enough. And I'm pretty sure we're like one vertebra short here. Uh, yes we are. Anything else I want to make with the tissue samples? I think we're past that. It's really just the pickaxe. The armor set would have been nice, but um... I mean, since I know I can go and get the strongest defense armor in the game, in the pre-hard mode game, the moment that I get that pickaxe, it's kind of kind of irrelevant. Oops. Alright, back we go. Uh, and I want to put my Star Fury in here. That's sometimes useful. Or maybe I should just put it in a weapon slot. I could go looking for that mushroom boomerang, but really... Uh, it really is lucky if we can find it. We got our 15 vertebrae now. Fantastic. Uh, I kind of want to make another little entrance down here. But one that the monsters probably won't find their way through. Oh yeah, I forgot, we don't take fall damage anymore. Easy peasy. Alright. Got a few minutes until night time, should be fine. Uh, do I want a feather fall or something? I'm just going to skip it this time. Hopefully we're strong enough. I just don't feel like farming, and we should be pretty strong. So it seems... It seems like it always appears maybe a little bit above me and a bit to one side. So I need to run away but slow like and make sure I hit all of the tissue samples. And if we're in a crit... Oh my goodness. Um, okay. What? No! What? What? You're joking. Is the boss fight still still? Ha oh god! Oh what? Wait, what is this part of? What? I'm so confused. I thought it was gonna disappear. I thought, I thought we would have to farm it again. Um, I guess it's reversing gravity on me. I don't even have to get hit for this to happen. Um. Okay, so every time I get to the bottom of this loop, it's gonna spawn around me somewhere. It disappeared again. You've got to be kidding me. How am I supposed... What am I supposed to do? It flipped gravity on me. It kept making me go up and down and up and down. And then... And then it just disappeared. 
I think what might have happened is because I came this way, for a moment I was higher off the ground and therefore not technically in the crimson biome. And it just took that one second to just, just disappear. So I've technically not beaten the Eye of Cthulhu again. And I have to farm up a whole other 15 vertebrae and 30, 30 mushroom powder or whatever. If I want to try it again. Not happy, Jan. But I think it's pretty safe to say we could beat it um, with this gear. What happened to Kane West? Uh, mental illness? Or something? I, I've seen a tiny fraction of of those posts. It's more than enough. Um, yeah, that's frustrating. Like, we're past the brain of confusion uh, of Cthulhu, but we technically haven't beaten it. And I can't get a meteor to fall until I do technically beat it. Which means I just have to keep farming these enemies. Or maybe we're strong enough to survive it. Yeah, they want you to fight it down here, right? So reversing gravity wouldn't be as big of a deal. In that case... Uh, maybe we can just plow our way through it down here because we've got more damage and defense this time. Alright. I think that's number one. Number two and or three down here. Along with some bonus lava. Screams echo around you. Brain of Cth Oh my god. Yeah, that's cool. I, I literally can't even get out. Like for th three seconds after breaking that thing. Literally my goal was just break this, get up here, start boss fight. The eyes all just go straight through the wall, practically spawn on top of me. So, yeah, I think we just have to farm for the right to fight this boss again, and hopefully have it not effectively flee from us? This game isn't as fun as Factorio. It's fun in different ways. We are playing... Uh, masochistically difficult uh, special seed. Yeah, I have to imagine that they never imagined people fighting the brain of Cthulhu on the surface with that gravity reversing shenanigans. Because being on the ceiling up here would have been no problem at all. So I think we maybe just farm up another. Oh god, what is it? Seven vertebrae? Um, do I have any mushrooms? Viscous powder. We need another three. So I need another three mushrooms, seven vertebrae, and then summon it somewhere where we're going to have a ceiling. Because if I did... Even if I didn't move left and right if that was the reason that it despawned because I dropped somewhere lower so I was technically higher up in the air so this was not 
crimson biome. Um, it would have taken a long time to kill it, flipping up and down like this, and getting like three, three mini shark rounds on it every time. Uh, every time we go over there, I'm gonna go left because. Um, because there's probably a lot more vicious mushrooms uh, available to pick up over this side, because they'll have respawned. But yeah, that is a way too common feature of some bosses in this game. Get a screen and a half away from them and they just disappear. Like, how about... How about a non-arbitrary way, or not as arbitrary, way to combat people hiding your boss? Alright, so we're looking for mushrooms here. That's one already. Two, we just need one more, I think. And then we need like seven... Seven vertebrae, which is... Kill seven things if we're very lucky, which we're not. How many arrows do we have left? 225. Or we should probably make some more. Then again, it didn't take very many last time. Just three more vertebrae. Fantastic. One to go. We're really not having the slightest trouble clearing these things now. Alright, let's go make our... Make a little workbench here. Get out of here, tulip shell. Oh no, I forgot. I think we need a... glass bottle for this. There's our powder. Down we go. Okay. Bloody spine for the millionth time. Uh, we've got defense. Not as much as before, but we probably don't need it. I might chug a red potion. We've got heart reach. Sure. And we fight. Here it comes. So the eyes... Oh god, we're already almost dead. The eyes appeared on the left and the bl Oh, come on. The eyes appeared on the right and the brain on the left. We were immediately flanked. Uh, and then we just had some random spawns in the worst possible place. That is just not enough room. What if... 
What if I fight it on the surface until the eyes are dead and then get myself in here? That might have to be how I go about it. Um, do I really not have any water candles? I thought I picked some up from the dungeon. There's one here. No, that's a bottle. No, I think I was looking for... Um... Oh, there's one. Uh, I was looking for... The water bolt spell. I think I'll put a... Not mushroom pylon, but cavern pylon. Down here. Or down here. We'll just do a little build right in the middle of the elevator. To get our NPCs cozy. Or I could move them in over here. That might be easier. They probably wouldn't be half as safe. Let's get some doors. I doubt this is going to be valid housing yet. Missing a wall. Let's do some walls. It doesn't have to be perfect, weirdly enough. This housing is missing a chair. Before someone moves in, demolitionist, in you go. How about this one? This housing is missing a wall. This housing is suitable. Um, I guess I could let the... Well, we haven't found the tavern keep yet. Well, for now, the merchant will be fine. What time is it? 5.32 a.m., which means they won't just teleport here. Until tomorrow. So I guess... Well, I'm going to have to travel anyway uh, to get the mushroom pylon where I want it to be. Let's just do that now. Ooh, blink root. I guess I'll have to move the blink root farm as well. Or I could just not do that yet. We'll just keep this one growing until we have way more seeds. Alright, mushroom pylon, get in my belly. And then... Uh, easiest way to get over there would actually be the magic conch. Oh yeah, I totally forgot I have uh, spectra boots. Because I got too used to not having them. Wob, 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 wob. Very good. Oh, and we've got two people here already, so I should be able to teleport to this place. No? This pylon is not in the correct biome. This is this doesn't yet count as glowing mushroom biome. Which basically just means we need more glowing mushroom. I'd love to do it in a way that's really neat. Like, if I just kept adding uh, mushroom seeds down here. I'm pretty sure it's glowing mushroom uh, grass that makes it... Uh, makes it the mushroom biome. I could... 
let it, whoops, uh, let it grow down this way. So all of these tiles will become mushroom grass seeds, or mushroom grass rather. And I might be able to just change it back afterwards. Let's do it like this for now. No, I have a better idea. Every other tile. Hopefully maximize the number of tiles that count as mushroom grass. Change the biome. There's also a lot of sand over here, so this counts as desert. So if I dig this uh, sand away, we could maybe change that, but I would kind of prefer to just add the mushroom. Anyway, I guess we can get here relatively easily already. Can I not reach there? Apparently not. Speed this up a bit. And apparently that's it. We can now use that as a mushroom pylon. Very nice. Back to farming blood crawlers, I suppose. Should be able to get more mushroom uh, vicious powder over here. Oh yeah, and the reason I was going there was to pick up a water candle so that we could force the uh, crimson enemies to spawn faster. I haven't actually been down this way yet. I don't really care about that explosion. I don't suppose we'll find a natural arena down here that's actually good enough. Wow! Um... That might do it. Okay, there's a bit more... Uh, there's a bit more wall over this side than I thought, but still. Uh, why couldn't we find this one first? The answer's pretty obvious. Alright, um, I guess let's start preparing. I think I'd still like to use a summon item here. So that I don't have to start the fight off balance. Why can't I? Oh, I forget this every time. I need a glass bottle. That's looking pretty convenient, actually. I could toss a bomb down here to kill this one. Uh, 
I have what I have three rolly bombs. Or oh, down here might be easier. Just toss this and run over here before the boss fight starts. Uh, I'm not loving the water at the bottom, but we could use a water walking potion. So I actually am kind of loving the water at the bottom because it, it's just a nice flat bit of terrain. Yeah, it's not that small, this room. We can maybe, maybe pull this off this time. Okay. I want to break these two. And we'll break the third one to start the fight. Chill goes down your spine again. And my inventory is looking a bit problematic. Uh, what do I want to drop? Probably the shuriken. That'll do. We still have another undertaker up here to pick up. 200 musket balls are pretty cheap. Not as cheap as 50 rope. Uh, and I want to go back for some buff potions. Alright. Deathweed seeds in here. Sell all of this stuff. It's a bit redundant. Mushroom in here. Tissue samples over this way. Should probably make some more arrows. And glad we picked up a hunter potion, but I don't want to waste it on this fight. Definitely want the water walking potion. Heart reach. Uh That's mostly it. Should make some more defensive potions. What do we got? Endurance. Oh. Oh crap. I used all the blink root. Can we make coming without blink root? We can. Thank goodness for that. And that's actually the end of our water bottles for the moment. Uh, is that all I want, though? Might be. Featherfall... Mm, probably. Thorns, sure. I don't have a feather. Alright, that'll probably do. I'm getting more and more slack with this. Uh, what can you expect? I'm going to pick up this water candle. And let's get in position. Coming potion, go.
Alright. Uh, and we've got water walking. Okay, good. And I threw away my bombs. God damn it. I can just drop this one here. It's on. And we immediately have extra spawns, even though we took a calming potion. Um, this isn't too bad, this isn't too good. Got stuck again, we got out. It's almost over, this phase is. Okay, 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 okay. So I have to find... It's so hard to tell. I have to find the real one? Okay, the, the minion is doing work. That's really helpful. I just have to look for the fire. Please don't, like, teleport onto me or something. It keeps going to the same spot. It is basically impossible to see which one is the real Brain of Cthulhu. If I had noticed from the beginning that my minion had the real one set on fire, I could have won that. <sighs> Even with this much room... The eyes section is a little bit luck-based because of the positioning you find yourself in right at the start. If you can get them all, like, in exactly one direction and no crawlers trying to eat your face coincidentally at the same time, you can literally just pierce every one of them with uh, Jester's arrows. But... The way it usually happens is they end up all around you in all directions. Um, but we did DPS them down. The final phase, which is normally very easy, uh, was a lot more difficult. The I'm very used to the disorientation of gravity potions, so that part didn't really bother me very much. But the fact that in this version, in this seed, the brain of Cthulhu is... Like, the real brain of Cthulhu, not the illusions, is pretty much indistinguishable. That... that is a bridge too far. Is this blooming? No, that's a blueberry. I think the real brain doesn't tend to spawn fully in rock, at least in phase two. Well, that's what it did do at the end. That's how it killed us. Like, I literally got it down to like a thousand hit points or less. And it kept spawning on the one corner by coincidence, I think. And then, like, I knew it would eventually probably spawn at a different angle. Uh, I was hoping my health potion would be up. And I could take one more hit by the time that happened. But, because I, I do not... My reaction time is relatively good, but I did not have time to shoot four of them and check which one is real. And then keep shooting the one that took damage. Um, before it closes in, like, such a short distance. Um, normally you wouldn't have the imp stuff... So I don't know how you would mark it. I, I guess if you use like fire arrows. Are there any bullets that we can get at this stage of the game that would like leave some kind of visual mark on the eye of Cthulhu? Uh, the eye? The brain. Because we need to be able to tell which one is which. There's cursed bullets, uh, which we obviously can't use yet. I don't think there's anything pre-hard mode that acts like a fire arrow or something. So even if you are using the mini shark, which normally you would because 
It has the best fire rate, and it just takes any hit to keep the brain from getting to you. Uh, you might want to, like, tag it with a flaming arrow every little while. Of course, if you've got flaming arrows equipped, you don't have something like jester arrows equipped, which means you'd want to switch your arrows mid-fight, which in this game is pretty damn awkward. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Svigvard, welcome, welcome also. Or Fortress in two hours? Hype. I think I'll watch Salford Cell play it. You can make a Wild Guess and Cthulhu Charge. Either you bounce off or escape. That's actually a good idea. Uh, although... I've seen some really weird inconsistencies with the Shield of Cthulhu and with the bounce uh, from from the slime mount this playthrough. I don't know if it's the seed or if it's the new version or something. Um, I, I'm not as trusting of using the shield to deflect things. All, I mean, when I, when I charge at a zombie, sometimes it just hits me. But Bouncing off of the Eye of Cthulhu seemed to work consistently. But yeah, using the uh, using the Shield of Cthulhu to go, say, left, and you'll either you'll either dash into thin air or bounce off the brain uh, does seem like a pretty good idea. It's definitely worth trying. But, uh, I don't know, maybe... What was uncomfortable there wasn't being upside down, it was just how ridiculously close the brain was every time, and how I couldn't tell it apart. I mean... If I'd known that the illusions would look exactly like the real brain, uh, and I thought ahead, maybe I could have realized before I lost 90% of my health, um, that we could we could see the fire from the imp to know which brain of Cthulhu was real. And I think it would have been a walk, of, uh, a walk in the park at that stage. But uh, I'm also thinking as long as we can avoid the brain of Cthulhu disappearing, uh, it would still be safer and easier to do it on the surface, and it'll just keep flipping gravity, I'll fly into the air, and then I won't get hit by it. We'll do a lap, and come back and hit it a little bit each time. It might take a little while to kill it that way, but I don't think I care. I want to see if it works. I, I want to see if both of those work, actually. But yeah, as I said, normally you wouldn't have the imp, at least not the first time you fight him. You can, like I've done, fight him a little bit, run away, and then come back with much better gear, including the imp. I think that would be the way to go in Hardcore. Ow. Two hundred and seventy-eight crit damage. And this thing allegedly does forty-eight melee. Not sure how that works, to be honest. Ow, 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 ow. I didn't see him there. I 
guess... Well, no, never mind. What tertiary weapon could I have? Like the ice boomerang, but guaranteed. I, I could maybe use, like, Molotov cocktails or something to set the brain on fire. Um, just any visual effect on him where I can tell which one's which. Oh yeah, I wanted to place water candle. Let me just walk around with it, actually. That gives us... No, it doesn't. Huh. I'm pretty sure it used to be the case if if you carry a water candle around like this, it has the increased monster spawn rate, but um, either it didn't or they made me a liar. Uh, okay, water candle can go here. And spiky ball, I guess. Boing. I need another six vertebrae. Actually, let me move this down where we've got our banner and where gravity tends to bring enemies to us. to go. I think I've got a few at home though. Early morning at work. Nice stream to vibe to while it's slow. Nice. Zero. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glad to hear your work is slow. That's a spider. Let me check how many vertebrae I've got. Oh, fantastic. And what about powder? Just enough. You okay there, buddy? Alright then. In we go. And let's just walk back up this time. Is this going to be faster? Maybe. Since we can't really sprint. No, I don't think so. Okay. Turn off the water candle. Summon the brain. This bow actually has a pretty high fire rate as well. Oh, 
That's better. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, the idea is... If we just sit still... I think it's going to keep doing this, I hope. And not end the fight. It keeps... Yeah, the moment I land, uh, it comes back. And it's like falling away otherwise. seems to work. The only reason I didn't beat it this way earlier is because I uh, moved to one side and got far enough away from Crimson Tiles that it didn't count as a Crimson Biome. In fact, I could literally just sit here until the Imp does the job. I think with the burn damage, he's doing the majority of the damage either way. I wonder if I could use a grav potion to, like, reverse gravity right about now and keep staying closer to him. Let's apply double damage over time. Twenty two hundred and seventy six hit points to go. I missed. I could try to get inside here, but that would just be a lot more dangerous. Oh, that was always a possibility. Crash Tractorio while creating a blueprint. Never le oh no. Never leave a number input empty and tab out of it? I, I guess? We're down to 1700 hit points. This is... this is how we beat him. Also, if I had some kind of wide area attack, um, that would obviously suffice underground. He's almost always on that side. Oh yeah, I should try putting one of those uh, rainy thingies on top of him. Five hundred hit points remain. Yeah, I don't think they anticipated people fighting him on the surface with this. Alright, 100 hit points. One sum, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. He hit me. And then he died. Uh, possibly from Thorn's Potion. Which would be pretty funny. Alright, that is it. We have technically, officially, uh, killed the brain of Cthulhu. And now meteors can fall. GG, indeed. It was a long road. We were able to beat him ages ago, but now we've actually technically literally killed him. 
which is actually important because I need uh, media armor for the final boss of free hard mode and for early hard mode. Alright, let's stack this stuff away, sell the relic, keep this, um, don't need crimson torches randomly, treasure bag gives us brain of confusion, random chance to dodge, increased ch crit chance after a dodge, may confuse enemies after being struck. That is way too random. I'm not really a fan of this. I liked the Brain of Confusion uh, Calamity version. It was just, well, all of the dodges in Calamity are not random chance. They're on a cooldown with a guaranteed, guaranteed dodge. By dodge here, we're talking about the so-called video game dodge where you simply take no damage for no reason. Um, but I'll save this just in case I change my mind. Um, so now I guess I'm kind, of, I'm kind of waiting on a media. The media armor isn't that good though until you get the B gun and then it's OP against the Wall of Flesh. Uh, and with Crystal Storm it's good enough to kill Duke Fishron. Although I'm terrified to see, to imagine what Duke is going to be like with, um, uh, or the Worthy. We may as well at least see what Skeletron is like. Before we get our media armor, I don't even know what spell I would use before getting, um... Like, usually it's, it's B-Gun, um, and then Crystal Storm. I don't really use wizard stuff, uh, in pre hard mode, for the most part. I'm not actually sure where I would get magic damage that I'd use against a boss before getting the bee gun. I could go after Queen Bee now, I suppose. I wouldn't mind getting the honey regen thingamajig. As well. Do we really need anything from the dungeon or from the Sky Islands to fight the Queen Bee? I can't think of anything. I always fight her in her hive. So we don't really need the movement stuff. We don't really need... Um, we do need some water walking potion. We don't need, like... Knockback resistance. I think we should probably go for Queen Bee right about now. First I have to find the Queen Bee. And that in and of itself is... a thing. You need Bozar? A uh, Be Bezoar? That wouldn't be a bad idea. But we don't find it in the dungeon. Or the Sky Islands is the main thing, because I'm thinking about the sequence of bosses. Gorgoribas, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I definitely want to go to the jungle so I can upgrade my boots as well. Oh, I know what it is, Flame Lash. It's not really good against bosses though. But I kind of like Flame Lash for a pretty hard mode spell. 
you could use it to fight Skeletron, I guess. Anyway, uh, what should I take? Definitely Calming Potion. Heart Reach Potion is actually surprisingly cheap. Um, I don't really... I've still got lots of Armored Cave Fish. We can consume a Endurance Potion. It's only four minutes, though. Let's put this away until we're fighting a boss. Spelunkers... Uh, mining potion. Let's just carry one so that it doesn't take up a stack. Hunter potion, definitely. Danger sense. Obsidian would be kind of convenient. They're pretty easy to make, I think, as well. I don't have fire blossom, so they're not actually that easy. Um, but yeah, I think we've got everything we need, really, to go into the jungle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need some... Need some blink root, because we need night owl potion. I mean, it's not strictly a need, but it is some nice quality of life. Remember when you could actually see Blinkroot from their own light source? I mean, technically you can. Technically. I miss the old Blinkroot. At least we've got plenty of seeds now. We actually got eight blink root at a time this time. That's good. Uh, let's put you in here. And I want some night owl potions. Don't really need the thorns at the moment. And I think that'll do. Let's head down... into the jungle. I also want to grab the uh, cavern pylon. Apparently the shopkeep's not happy enough, but our dwarf is. Let's put it here. And back to the elevator. Okay. Oop. I think I'll go down to the rail and head right. It would be very convenient if this rail led to some honey. Not just for the boss fight. Oh, right, I forgot. Well, maybe I can lengthen it if going this way leads to what we want. Did I not take a calming potion? I definitely did. A meteorite has landed. Finally. Let's grab the statues. Let's grab the jungle stuff. Oh! There's the unconscious man. I wonder if it... I wonder if... Uh, I, I don't think there's a universe where the Eternia Crystal stuff is actually, like, worth doing in terms of progression. Like, getting 
relatively powerful stuff relatively early. It would be sort of nice if it did. Then again, maybe it would be a bit of a grind. Oops. There's a detonator. Don't really care. I should probably clear the trap though. Oops, uh, that, that works. Calculated, I meant to do that. We found a chest. Chests are so rare in this seed, it really does feel special finding one. But apart from a couple of night owls, which are only precious because blink root is hard to get going, could you stop? Uh, we haven't really found anything exciting here. I might change my sequence. But could you could you not, sir? And or ma'am. There's a jungle chest. But yeah, I might change the sequence that I do things in after this playthrough. It might actually be kind of optimal to start the Eater of Worlds slash Brain of Cthulhu fight. Get six tissue samples to drop. Run away from it. Go get the Molten gear, which is the best defense in pre-hard mode. Um, not overly excited about Boomstick. Then again... No, I really like being able to throw the boomerang and then switch. And that's my knockback. Also, there's another chest down here. We get a mace. Don't care. Just how long is it going to take to find a hive, though? Big tree means we have one of these chests. And a we get the anklet, uh, anklet of the wind, which is one of the main reasons to come to the jungle. That remains relevant forever. All right, let's get our anklet, menacing spectra boots, aglet, and combine lightning boots. And then we take some ice skates, combine that. We have frost spark, and then there's only one step left, or at least on the left side of the crafting tree for this monstrosity. Uh, we need lava waders to make terrace bark boots. Thank you, I think. We've already got water walking boots. Um, but it's a bit of a... There's a couple of the hardest to get items that it takes to upgrade these to lava waders. We need obsidian rose, which is like a... I think it's like a 2% drop, 1 in 50 from the imps, fire imps. And Molten Charm, I believe... I can't actually remember if... I think they're in the shadow chests. You can fish them up from the lava, but you'll need the shadow key anyway. So we have to kill Skeletron and get into the dungeon for that. 
so there isn't really a reason to go after the Terra Spark Boots um, until we've beaten Skeletron. Uh, to, no reason to worry about it just yet. That's a lot of gold to re-roll this. I just want m at least moderate defense or damage. Please don't use up all my gold. 4% uh, crit, that is technically damage. Crit is super unreliable unless you can stack a lot of it, though. And that's... We don't actually need any more moon glow seeds. Do we have any clay? We do. Let's make some clay pots just for the look of it. If I can find... Okay. That's going to be a lamp. I think I've got one in here. Uh, lamp post is a little tricky to find in the crafting menu. But I believe it's iron, glass, and... And what? Uh, it's actually just iron, glass, and torch, and you need an anvil. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking we could have regular intervals or something symmetrical anyway. We could have a little bit of moon glow dotted around as light sources. As opposed to putting torches on the trees. Which we'll eventually want to cut down sometimes. Or in some places. Alright. Let's put the water walking boots. I kind of want to put that here actually. Because I can casually switch to this when I want to stand on the water. never actually saw what the Frost Spark boots look like. Kind of cool, actually. No pun intended. Alright, Silt, get out of my inventory. What is that white furnace? Thing by the Hellforge. This is a glass kiln. Um, I think you need glass to make it. I could be wrong. Where's the guide? Uh, surely we need torches. That's going to be a lot of stuff that we can make a torch with. Here it is. Glass kiln, iron plus torches, and an anvil. And it lets you make fancy glass things. Like these uh, lamps. And the chandeliers. And the chests. Another thing I knew nothing about. There's a lot. Like, if you, if you want to put the effort in to make really nice-looking builds, it is a whole, like, hidden knowledge base to, you know, to have access to the tiles that you need to get a certain thing to look a certain way. Some fancy chandeliers, right? I think that, I think these are by far the best chandeliers, and you can access them quite early. Uh, those ones up there are palm wood. I think those look pretty nice as well. Or something a bit more down to earth, should we say? 
Um, let me go place this blink root. I should probably move. I should start doing that right now, actually. We'll grab our blink root planters, which I thought were in here. Here we go. And start making a blink root farm right next to this uh, pylon. It's a little hard to see right now. What if I climb up here? It's a bit easier. And one, two, three. That'll do for the moment. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we were looking for the queen bee's hive. Is that? Nope, that's gold. I thought it was honey. Alright. Oh yeah, I had a bunch of buff potions. Because I tried to overestimate the jungle as opposed to underestimate it. It's pretty difficult to overestimate the jungle in For the Worthy, I must say. It, it feels a bit more oppressive, to say the least. They should make a 3D version of this game? Uh, I think they kind of, sort of did, only not. I think it's not, like, official. Or it just had, like, some related IP or something. But it wasn't very good. Someone did make, like, like a amateur job. Uh, did some 3D Terraria. The Eye of Cthulhu is actually pretty damn terrifying. <laughs> That's that's a lot of uh Pirani. Is that a water chest? I think it is. And we get some crap I don't care about. The trident is actually kinda neat if you find it early, because you can move through water um like it's nothing. But I don't really feel like it justifies... Well, I haven't really been using this inventory slot, so I guess it kind of does. Justifies a slot for the moment. I wonder if it works with honey. I seriously doubt it. Uh, let me switch to, switch to digging mode. There we go. And don't get caught actually fighting enemies with this uh, armor set. I forgot those uh, skeletons can actually throw bones at you. Oh, that's a trap. Not anymore, it's not. Can I hit this thing through the... Yes, I can. Okay, that makes the, uh, what is it called? Volcano a lot more attractive. Especially in the jungle. Ow. That's a bomb. That's extra lava. We got the 50th jungle bat, and the banner fell into the lava because my inventory was full. Unfortunate. Uh, 
That's rude. Could we maybe stop with the new enemies coming through here? Ouch. Stop it. Alright, we're having inventory woes. Oh, we did get the jungle bat banner. Isn't that nice? Should probably put it somewhere where there's actually going to be a lot of jungle bats. Uh, apparently we're not able to carry stingers right now. I'll drop the two dirt. I thought that copper was hive. That was a big tease. Kind of want to go more or less straight down here just to cover all the ground I can. You know what, I think it would be easy to go back and empty my inventory. Got another suspicious looking eye. Um, don't need to carry wooden arrows. Scorpion statue can go in here. Silt goes in here. Further fall in with the other occasional potions. Angel statue. Don't really care actually. Let's do a fishing quest for a change of pace. Caught in desert. Easy peasy. And there it is. I forgot to even put my fishing gear on. Sonar potion, don't really care. Alright, let me grab our last danger sense. Uh, mining potion. I guess the rest is fine. And we'll start down here. Ouch. For some reason I'm not burning. I guess I didn't go deep enough into the lava. Alright. Buff. And I think I'll just dig down this way, actually. Good job, Imp. Ooh, a third heart statue. And we found a house as well. And another chest. Definitely glad I went this way. Give me those tungsten bullets. And what on earth is this fairy going to tell us about, I wonder? Also take the gold. Oh. Good good job, fairy. We have feral claws. Danger sense. Archery. I totally forgot about archery. I probably should have made it to fight the... Uh, uh, the Brain of Cthulhu. Apparently we're in range of banner still. Is 
This is all well and good, but can we find a hive? Oh, I forgot that could be trapped. We got flare gun, a couple of featherfall. Okay. Don't need no stinking jungle torches. My regular torches will turn into those. That is not a chest. That is. And it doesn't look like it's trapped. Archery potion again. A couple of gold recalls, torches. I think that's our first star statue. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. And our inventory is full again. That did not take very long. Apparently we've been here, since there's jungle torches on the ground. Yes, we have. Alright, let's try down this way. Are there just no queen bees on this map? Is that how it is? Or maybe... Maybe we actually have to go below the surface jungle to find queen bee. I'd be surprised if it worked like that. Okay, this this sucks. Could you could you stop? Thank you. is such a good minion versus the jungle. Sniping all the hornets that you can't even see. Well, this is awkward. Ow. Ow. Um, don't really need any more moon glow seeds at this stage. Moon glow is actually just as easy as day bloom. It's just that you have to get to the jungle to get it started. Seems like I've been through here. What's that? Gold. We're really not having much luck finding Queen Bee. Give me that gold. How am I confused, though? Must have got hit by a bat. Oh yeah, I should probably buff. Apparently I'm out of regen. That doesn't bode well. Calming potion... And Spelunker. Ooh, a slime... A slime statue. Uh, 
Uh, okay, this, this area is a little bit awkward. I don't like it. I really am quite surprised how much area we've covered without finding... without finding a hive. Maybe I'll go up to the surface jungle and start there. Right, yet another heart statue. Go in here. Feral claws. Star statue. Spear statue. Give me some regions. Uh, probably just sell the spiky balls now. We can always buy them. Kind of wish they were a material and you could upgrade them. Alright, into the jungle we go. Not into the lava, preferably. This is a pretty long natural path. Ouch. Uh, what the? Wait, have I been here? I don't think so. Normally there would be a chest there, but there's just a thin layer of lava instead. That's different. Ouch. Ow, what is hitting me? I can't even see it. Give me that boot. Uh, I didn't want to break that, and now I want to put it back, but it's covered in enemies. There we go. There we go. Is that a chest? That is a chest. Could you stop? Could, could you be persuaded to shoot? Thank you. And then Hunter Potion. Don't want to leave that behind. Still no sign of a nest. Life getting a little bit low here. Let's take five. Do I not have regen active? I actually don't. That would probably help. We've got rail going in both directions. I'm still getting hurt, down to 70 health. Let me in. What the shit? Really? How am I not able to fit through this? Right. And that's our second aglet, which is a lot less exciting than the first one. Um, could 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 you could you not actually? Could you be persuaded to shoot? All right, we have one hunter potion. Got some spare boots. That's nothing new. Do you think we have enough sailfish boots? Definitely not. 
Did I put anything in the money trough? No, we're good. Love is in the trash slot. I can't really see what that's supposed to represent. Looks like a person and a red balloon. And I don't know what this is. Uh, anyway, we've just about hit the end of the stream for today. Maybe a hive is right here. Maybe we wouldn't find it in another half an hour. But I might look for it off stream if I feel like playing this. Doing more building, fishing, stuff like that. Hey, repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's see who's playing Terraria. Tuki Tuesday. Oh, it's a big one. Visiting the Terraria space. Uh, everyone else is looking pretty random. Um, I don't suppose anyone else is doing For the Worthy. Actually, no. Calamity. First time master mode, good luck. I honestly don't know who to raid today. We could drop in on All Herland, even if it's uh, Factorio. Legendary Everything Seed? That might be good. God gamer tag, that's a bit self congratulatory. Hmm. Alright, we've looked long enough. Let's drop in on Herland. Take care, repetitive beats. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions about it, by all means. We'll be back in a couple of days with Long War of the Chosen for XCOM 2. And after that, a little bit of Oxygen Not Included, followed by Factorio for three days. But till then, stay safe. Oh? oh my god! I didn't. I, I... What? Tina